All right, <clears throat> welcome to the live stream. <clears throat> Excuse me. Whew, too much Tishanka. Welcome to the live stream, guys. All right, today we're going to be doing some quests. The first one I already completed, and that is with the shotgun. So this is the shotgun that Mechanic wanted and it should fit the requirements so you need the mp133 rail and there's a handle on it as well rk6 and then the 133 slash 153 pistol grip for the shotgun um i got a tbl on it a sprut in a cylinder 12. Not sure if I need the sprut or not. Oh no, that carries the laser. But this is what we turn into mechanic. Good work. Okay, I thought we did this. Active any location. Modify an MP133 to comply with the given specifications. Okay, let's check this out. Does not meet the requirements? Ergo 51, recoil 47, 447. Hello, mercenary. Yes, I am mechanic. Let's go to the, let's get to the point. Did you want help? I have a lot of work to do to today. There's so little time and the programmer unit for PLC 100 is out of order. And those weapon orders anyway, here's why I'm telling you this. I build various weapons with modifications for my clients, and I'll need some help with it. I need you to assemble MP133. I won't have time to build it myself, and I don't have the parts either way. Either anyway. This gun should have more than 47 ergonomics. We got that. <clears throat> A laser, an extended mag, and less than 850 recoil sum. And compact, no more than four slots. 850 recoil sum. I think that's less than 850 recoil. Sum. Oh, no, no, it's not. Uh-oh, we're going to have to work on this a little bit. Okay, so I'm missing something here. Okay, Kiva Arms 25 millimeter accessory ring mount. Okay, 
MP133 12 gauge action shotgun. Is this the right one? <clears throat> what needs to be found for the quest? Gunsmith part one. Okay, 60 durability. Maybe the durability could be a problem. Okay, 47 or greater ergo. We got that. 850 or less recoil. We don't have that. An extended mag. And a magazine capacity of 6 or greater. We have that. Any tactical device such as the blue laser. Okay, so we have to somehow reduce... Vertical recoil. MP133 rails. Yeah. Plastic pistol grip. Maybe the wiki's out of date. NC Star tactical blue laser. Well, I don't have that. <clears throat> what's up problematic i haven't got a world war ii outfit yet but i was thinking about it <laughs> thanks man i appreciate it sorry i, I don't know how to pronounce your name Riz Riz Woj? He, I don't know how to pronounce I think your name is probably Polish. But I cannot pronounce it, my friend. But thank you for the comment. I appreciate it. We need to find this tactical laser. Trigger guard mount. It was an NC Star Tactical Blue Laser LAM module. Here we go. Boom. Oh, I need the muzzle brake. GK02. That's what I'm missing. Shoot. I think I need like a DVD player for that. Jaeger. Okay. Check out Jaeger. Okay, so I need the muzzle brake. That's what we're missing. <clears throat> hey, Matt. Do I need an adapter for the muzzle brake? That's crazy. Oh, is it level two Jaeger, though? <clears throat> so we're not going to be able to complete this shotgun. Shoot. Let's go hit up the convoy for proper. We could get that done at least. <clears throat> These both say the same thing. Oops. Okay, let's put that on there. Maybe modify this weapon for when Matt comes. We go to a Peacekeeper. Maybe we get an upper and lower. Yeah, if you got that muzzle break, that would be helpful. I want this. And then AR-15. This should work with M4A1. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Get this. Holy mackerel. We're going to run out of money real quick here.
Oh, maybe I didn't need this. Now I got a laser on that bad boy. Do I have no lower handguard? Maybe it's not CAC RIS. RIS 2. Did I get that wrong? So this is CAC IRS handguard. Try this one. Wait, CAC IRS lower handguard. Let's see. Yeah, that was the right one. So that laser should still be on here. Yep. Okay, that's going to be good to go. Do a little inventory management here. Not sure that I want this respirator. It's pretty easy to get. Got the Jaeger knives down here. I'm not sure that I should be handling those, though. They take up a lot of space in the inventory. Got some extra ears. Get this shotgun out of the way. Okay, I think we should be good to go. Let's uh, look at this specifically, what the task was. Search mission, locate Prapper's missing convoy on woods. Okay, so we could hit up the USEC base and then hit up the convoy. Locate the temporary USEC camp. Okay, perfect. Well, let's see if we could do that on the PMC. pretty nice backpack I found last night I think I even found it on a scav oh man I was getting completely clapped on shoreline last night where the roadblock is where you have to cross the river down south like I mistook a scav for a PMC PMC came and clapped me like was just running into people all over the place Try to extract from Lighthouse. There's a guy camping that. I mean, this game is super challenging. I'm in, I'm really enjoying that. Thanks, man. I've been scaving a lot offline. I stream whenever I've got a solid chunk of time, but if I could just run my scav in between my daily activities, it only takes like 20 minutes. So I know Woods really well, so this should go pretty well here. I want I need some money really bad. When Matt's on, it's gonna be easier because a lot of the times either me or him lives. So when Matt's on, we'll feel more powerful, but all my PMC fights last night, like I played a few rounds of PMC. Just to like uh, do a 24 hour mission with a therapist. And uh, yeah, it didn't work out that well. Everyone was like proning in front of me, then holding. So I need to like make sure that 
when they do that, I need to just grenade and then push. Be more patient. I'm like playing this like it's Call of Duty or something. It's not Call of Duty. You can't just like jump out and in, jump out and in. You gotta think more tactical and slow. But this is my lucky M4 here. We'll see how it goes. Knock on wood. I've taken this bad boy into like six raids. Survived all of them. Matt gave me the sight. And I think the big deal here is that we got to be ready to fight. Especially if you're on shoreline woods, you can kind of get around people, get around scavs, but shoreline, there's too many squeeze points. Eventually, I want to get to the point where we can go up to the spa and then have fights. Damn, Matt, that was quick. I'm going to run this one raid. We'll see if I can't complete it. I know this armor is not too good. The helmet's not that great. But at least it gives us a chance. And I got a really thick bag there. I think this bag is like 50k or something though. A little on the expensive side, boys. Here while we're waiting. I received this MRE and uh, do an MRE unboxing soon, guys. Try to get that video out as soon as I can. And Hoyt, Hearts of Iron 4, boys, don't worry. There's going to be more content coming out soon. I want to finally... I want to finally do Mosley's UK. I've been putting that off for like a year now. Um, and then potentially start getting into mods like Ragnarok or something like that. I just saw Bitter Steel's uh, Ragnarok. It looked like it was pretty hardcore, man. I liked it. Yeah, it might be. It might be. I'm sure that I have the, the list, actually. Let's see here. Dude, who's blowing me up here? Pillbox? Sorry, I was a little late with the stream. I was trying to do it uh, 15 minutes earlier, but I was playing with FPS settings. So we'll see how this goes. And you guys can hear that. Okay, there's the bridge. Get moving. There's a spawn to my right here, so we could run into someone over here. Make sure that this is all marked. Under on water, we got a Tishanka. Okay. Audio is good. Well, that's one piece of the puzzle. Someone's tapping scavs there. What's up, Matt? You're muted, bro. Yeah, what's going on? Hey, nothing much. Oh, there's a guy I think that's tapping scabs over here. I don't know if I can get up on top of this huge rock here. Kind of a squeeze point. Yeah, there's actually a couple of rocks that you can get on over the direction you're heading now along 
paralleling the river. Uh, they overlooked that, that little village that we bought a few scabs in. Um, once you pass by this big rock formation here on, on your left, uh, look left beyond it. There should be a hill that goes on top of one. I'm going to try to avoid the scabs or shoot them from far away. I just want to get that convoy. A sec. Yeah, you got a pretty good spawn for it from where you're at because you can take our usual roundabout way through the woods to get to the camp and the convoy. Uh, my phone's ringing. I'm going to mute myself real quick. Cool. Where's the extract? Outskirts? Okay, I could go to outskirts to extract. Gonna wait here for a second. There's definitely a guy like moving through here. Hopefully that was not at me. And that was a big boy round. See if I can't Get over here on this sniper rock and look in, see if I can see this PMC. I'm gonna try to draw contact a little bit. If I can get eyes on him and info, that's everything, right? That was a snick, I think that was at me. I'm just gonna run away. He may know where I'm at, and I don't know where he's at, so pretty bad. So they're still fighting back there. Guys to my right and left. It's a pretty hot spawn. Feel like I'm gonna run into someone eventually. keep pushing through. So they're right over there fighting. Maybe it was a scav, I'm not sure. There's guys to my left as well. Hot spawns. I think that this is the convoy. I'm not entirely sure. It is the convoy.
Oh my god. Get out of here. I need all that stuff. Okay, you said base should be on my right. Okay, here it is. Or no, this is scav camp. Like they're fighting up there in the USEC base. I gotta figure out where I'm at. Do so I hit the convoy? I don't know, maybe the USEC base is behind me. I'm not entirely sure. And power lines going through here. And a road. So if that is the road, the USEC base should be over there. 90% sure. If I cross the road, I'm going to have to cross back. So I need to go this way. I think I'm at that a crossroads area. Okay, there's the USEC base. I think. Wait, wait, wait. That's the... Oh, that's the scav bridge. Okay, I know where I'm at. Maybe some dude just exfilled over there. Okay, so if that's the scav bridge. Scav bunker should be up there. So I should be able to wrap around the back. It's going to be a little dangerous. Okay, let's go through here. And as the name says, there could be scavs at the scav bunker. So I need to watch out. That guy was looking for me, or I ran into the sniper zone. I died pretty quick, so I don't think that that was a sniper zone. So much for lucky scav. Okay, sniper shot. Okay, I ran into the sniper zone. Yikes. Well, at least I got the spark plug out. I'm going to be pretty poor here, though. Oh, man. Okay, so don't go past the wood pile. I did not see signs anywhere. I man, always get shot. You sorry. I was just got off the phone. I ran into the sniper area. Oh, okay. And it two-shotted me like it was super... I never had that happen before. Yeah, sometimes it, it kills you faster sometimes than others. Um, I tell you what, I found a brand new AK-74 if you want to try one of them out um, yesterday. If you have 545 by 39 and then a couple mags, I'll bring the, the rifle. Okay, you ready to play now or what are you thinking? 
Yeah, I'm I'm uh I'm in the menu right now. So. Oh, cool. Do you want to roll with the 74 or do you want to run with uh, something you have? I don't mind. I actually put it aside in case we played today or tomorrow. Uh, let me run with the SKS just because I'm more familiar. Okay. And then maybe if we get into a close quarters map, I still want to get this, uh, this quest done that I just attempted. The uh, convoy one? Yeah. Let me toss some food into my kit and then I'll be good to go. All right, so you see, uh, you're good on meds. Yeah, I should be good on meds. I got an IFAC. Got an OPSKS with a red dot. What about the 762 by 39? Do you have PS for it? or? Yeah, I got the PS. I should have enough ammo. Okay. I had to buy a new ammo box. Um, once you get the traders up to level 2... I think Mechanic has a trade for it, and it's it's super helpful because you can put all all that spare ammo you got sitting around. It holds uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So 49 slots for ammo and one 4x4 four four ammo box for your stash. That I had, sounds uh, good. I, I got a ton of 545 that was taking up a lot of my space in my one, so I had to buy another one. Dude, I got plenty of space. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'm ready whenever you are. So just let me know when you got your your kit set up. Do a final check here. Should be good. Dude, I can't Dude, I, believe so it. The, the motion that I've been running with, hold on, let me go to the, uh, the doing woods, you said. Um, yeah. I've run it seven raids in a row. I found it on a dead PMC when I was scabbing, and uh, I can't die with that thing. I know it's probably not a good thing to say, because then we might die with it, but uh, <laughs> I, I've used it for the last seven raids just to level my sniper skill, and I've had some good luck with it. Yeah, I did not, uh, <laughs> that did not age well for me either. I was like, oh, this is my lucky M4, and then I ran into the sniper fire. <laughs> there was guys on both sides of me, and I successfully pushed through. Like, it wasn't going to be a big deal. Probably could have exfilled from that. Man, but it was the edge of the map snipers that got you. Yeah, just bang, bang, done. Whenever I got hit before, like, I had body armor on, had a helmet on. Whenever I got yeah. hit before, it was like, okay, it hurt a little bit. I could med up. It wasn't a big deal. Yeah, it's a car. <laughs> you took a few. Yeah, it's hit or miss with the uh, edge of the map snipers. Sometimes they'll even kill you in one hit. True story, Chad. Oh. Well, I've learned the tricky parts about this map, the minefield behind the USEC base. Yeah, the one on the backside of the hill. I mean, we should be able to do well together with your map knowledge and then two of us. Yeah, hopefully uh, we should hopefully be able to get the, uh, the convoy task knocked out for you. I already found the convoy, but I don't know. Do I need to find it again? Yeah, you need to find it and extract for both the convoy and the camp or else it won't count. Okay. I think in the past it wasn't like that, like last wipe. But this wipe, for sure, I died once during it, and I already went to both spots. Uh, I thought I'd be good to just 
expel one more time from the map to complete the task, but it made me do it all over again. Well, we'll see where we get spawned. I got spawned sandwiched for sure. Was it a busy server on that last one? Or a busy raid? Yeah. People were it's... hunting scavs at the, it sounded like the church and then the northern uh, village with the dirt road. Yeah. And there's also uh, the raider bosses that can spawn up in that area. It's a very, really low chance of them spawning, but uh, it's a trio if you run into them. And there's a sniper, a dude with just an assault rifle, and then a guy with an assault rifle and a, the six shot uh, grenade launcher. <laughs> so I, I haven't run into him this wipe, but it's uh, usually a short engagement if you do and you're not ready for it. Yeah, I see everyone's super scared of the scab bosses. Yeah, well, they have what I don't like about this game is the bosses have like a different HP pool, which some of the scabs do as well. That's why sometimes they'll tank more shots than others. I wish they just make everyone have the same HP pools as the players, but like some of the bosses, they have like 80 head HP, so. A headshot with a like an AK-74 or M855 out of a M4 won't kill him just by itself. And that's if you penetrate their armor. That's that's really my biggest gripe about the uh, the AIs in this game. It's just if they're going for realism, they should make everyone have an equal opportunity to die. Well, last night I was getting, I was on shoreline and I would run into three or four parties every time. Three or four yeah, PMCs. Playing in the evening, it's, it's best to play during the day if you can. Like if I get off work early, I'll generally play my PMC during the work hours. And uh, the evening, if you're playing solo, it's rough because there's a lot of duos, trios, and even bigger groups running. All right, so we are, let's go by, you want to go by the... The village that we fought in last time? Um, I need to get over to the convoy, so let's go up to a mountain hideout. See if we could get sniper scav. Yep. Let's just do a wide swing. Yeah. You'll probably know how to navigate straight to the convoy, and then we need to USEC base. Uh, we got outskirts for I think expo. I saw a, is that a flare? That tree line? Yeah, someone shot a flare on that side. They can call in uh, supply drafts. Okay, there should be a spawn over there too, right? So maybe we yeah. hook right a little bit. Yeah. Let's get off this ridge line. I'm just getting prepared to run into anyone. I, I feel like it doesn't pay yeah, to... Supply drop, you hear it? Oh boy. I actually sold that flare gun that I found because I didn't know the purpose of it. Yeah. Should push off of this. Can't hear anything. Checking uh, sniper. Uh, I don't think he spawned. If he did. He's not there. Couldn't check these boxes. I'll take a look too. Scavs down south are not present. Uh, yeah, logging mill see. looks empty. Do you 
still need gas analyzers, right? I'll keep an eye out for him. Yeah, I got one. So far. I got a P gauge. Man, I found a car battery. I need one. But it's heavy. Oh boy. Well, there shouldn't be short range engagements, so this is the map for to find that one for sure. Is that you hitting the bush? Yep, yep. Let's let's listen. I just moved a little bit. All right. If you hold down the middle mouse button, you can look. Um, hold it down, and then you can move your mouse around and free look without moving. I think we're good. Yep, I agree. Uh, I must have it bound differently. I was trying to increase my FPS. I mean, my on OBS, FPS looks good. What was it? Control T. Or uh. Or I think on my G Force I could see my FPS. There's a couple things in here for you. It's a little rail you can put on an AK with the uh, the side rail mount, and then. I think a grenade fuse. Ooh, I Which relief. If you take that, if you take that, uh, that rail mount and then use the AK, I can drop you whenever you, whenever we need it. You can mount a red dot or optic on the AK. Use nice. a key plug and a hose if you need it. Okay. Are you pretty full? I'm gonna, be, I'm full, basically. I've, I've got space. I can, I can take it if you can't fit it. Unless we find a bigger backpack, my looting days are over, my friend. I got good stuff. Okay. Unless there's like. Let's a... focus on some scab kills and getting this quest done for you then. Sounds good. We're coming out of the mountain. Okay, we gotta cross through the lakes. Got it. Yep. Let's cross a little bit further right than we need to, and then we'll push into the woods because I try to avoid the intersections at the roads, the big ones. Because a lot of people just run the roads. I haven't heard any gunfire, so I think we should light yeah, up some quiet. scavs. Yeah. We see them. Well, you want to check out this the town with the church? They've got some there, or... Uh... We could go through there if you want. If you want to live life on the wild side a little bit, kill the ones in that town, and then push up the road, pat through that town that takes you to the scav bunker, and then convoys is just down the hill from there. Do it. All right. Cross. Okay. What is the uh, proper vernacular for? You call out contact when someone's someone's shooting at you. Uh, yeah. I mean, you can call contact front or whatever direction they are, clockwise. And then, uh, you ideally want to call out the three Ds: distance, direction, and description. So, like, it'd be 50 meters, 12 o'clock, one enemy rifleman, or whatever the case might be. Gotcha. But contact, you if you just visualize someone, contact is the appropriate vernacular? Yeah, yeah, contact would be good. Oh, okay. Well, there's that little loot spot down there. I heard a random shot pretty far off. Sounds like it's on the opposite side of the map. Oh, I hear it, yeah, yeah. Way back. Would, would uh, logging mill, probably. Yeah, the big one. Or the fields, I don't know. Yeah, I got yeah, your six. Checking this box real quick. You got that nade? Right. Um, no, I didn't bring one. I screwed up. Oh, I thought you found one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, it was just a fuse. It was a fuse for a grenade. Okay. I didn't bring one because I can't afford one. I'm pretty uh, pretty poor right now. Yeah, so there's this uh, house with the collapsed roof. There could be scabs beyond it. It's actually a pretty good loot house, too. 
where I was last time and I went too far. Oh that boy. grenade wasn't too far away, but it wasn't like in this village or anything. In front of us, but where do you think it was? I, I felt like it was back at like our seven o'clock. Scav base, scav bunker, maybe. Yeah, probably somewhere over that way. Maybe USEC camp. Let's go into go into this uh, log cabin. Okay. I'm gonna show you. I'm inside the cabin right now. I went the wrong way. There's two entrances to go to the second one. So this tent right here, see there's a chainlet in there. Um, they're not worth all that much, but I've found bitcoins that spawn on that and they're worth like 200K. Oh, sweet. Okay, there's a car on the uh, car med case over here. I don't know if you want it at all. I'm good on it. I'm, I'm pretty heavy. If I gain, I think, any more weight, my guy will be too tired to gain, regain stamina. I'm at 23, so I think I'm right underneath the overweight category. I'm not sure. Or no, it says... Uh, light... I think it's 44, at least for my guy. It depends on your strength, but... All right, I'm going to push up to this next house. I'm going to try to stick with the motion for now. Try to get that sniper skill up. So the scabs can kind of spawn anywhere in here. Feel you. All right, I'm going to cross the road. Like they forgot to spawn the scavs. Sometimes they just, they have random spawn timers. And other times they just don't spawn it at all in certain areas. Uh, we're looking at snipers coming up. Actually, yeah, just don't go anywhere near that. That, that second bridge there um, is a scav exfil, actually. Um, but if you go past, like, to the edge, on the far side of that bridge, the snipers uh, will kill you. Yeah, I think it's all quiet here. Nope, oh, nope. Scab. Where is he? He's down. That's my shot. I didn't roll with the motion on that one. He caught me off guard. He's got a OPS gas. Another one? Thought I heard something. Another scab? Yeah. If you go ahead and touch that body, you can take anything you want off him. up this magazine got to come up for me Tarzan and the bag too nice want this morphine he's got morphine on him no take it actually um, I'd find a spot for that because you'll need it for um therapist quest here in a quest or two it needs to be found in raid thank you i already have one but they good yeah i'm ready to go all right let me get this actual me i heard a scav off on the left looking let's peek around this corner on the right side I think he might be coming to us. Unless that's you moving that out here. Yeah, it is. Um, I'm going to peek the left side of this house. All right. Let's go on the right. But he's definitely over there somewhere. I'm 
gonna drop my backpack. I hear him. He's on the road. I caught a glimpse of him. Um, oh shit, he saw me. Get back, he hit you. Yeah, I'm pushing up on him. I'm on your left. Yeah, there he's been to boathouse. Gotta reload. I'm pushing right around. Side. Right side, I need info. Man, he took it like a champion. He's down. All right, let's push out of here. We made a lot of noise there. I need to get my bag. Yeah, yeah let's push out. You okay, health-wise? Uh, I'll patch myself up. No bleeds or anything. Here's my bag. Jump into this house real quick. Let me plus these mags up, because that might have been a scab that had the extra health. Because he, I had to shoot him a lot. Yeah, boss. Mini scab boss. Yeah, he wasn't hitting with anything hard. My armor is still pretty good. Wait, could it have been a cultist? Maybe we check that body? No, he, he was a regular scab. The cultists only spawn at nighttime. But this would be where gotcha. they spawn. Okay. Yeah, where did you go? I'm still reloading in the house. And I cannot see you at all over there. Alright, let's see. Is that you moving? A little bit, yeah. Alright. Let me make sure my motion's good. Alright. Alright, let's push out on the right. And just follow the river up. As we get closer to the, the bridge, we'll push across the road on the left. Whoa, 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 whoa. Another call out. I heard a scav. Left? I didn't hear it. To your... Yeah, to your zero. How far off do you think it was? Close left. It was as you were running, so... I'm gonna hit myself up these meds again real quick. Here he is. He's hey, down. You got him. Jeez, that took enough. At least I'm shooting my gun. <laughs> He's in co partial cover. Need to go touch him? Yeah. Okay. We're at 24 minutes. Getting pretty greedy. M133. No, you don't need that. No, yeah, no. I mean, if you... You've already got one for the quest for uh, mechanic, right? Yeah. All right. Got a wallet. Yeah, take the wallet. You can put your money in it if you have multiple stacks. It saves you some space. Okay. Coming to you. Well, that was a good pickup. Right. I put it in the pouch. Yeah. A good thing I heard that guy. Yeah, I didn't hear him at all. Alright, so that hilltop with those connexes, the storage units, there's sp uh, scab spawns in it. So. Okay, we need Across. to go through the left of the, through the rivers to get to the convoy. Yeah, if we, if we clear through this camp, it'll put us by scab bunker, and then that dirt road goes straight to the convoy. Okay. If we get up to this wall and we don't have any contact, I'm going to drop my bag while we clear it real quick. Okay. That's definitely heavy and slows you down when aiming down the sights and stuff. 
Uh, I'm dropping my bag. I'll look on left side. Yeah. Peek around the left side. I'll go to the right. Left so of you. Right. clear. I don't see anything. All right. I'm picking my bag back up. I'm going in. I'll follow him behind you. We got to worry a little bit about time, so I'm going to go through here fast. Yeah, I'm going to push past you. I'm going to go up the staircase and see if I can see anything at the uh, next scab camp. I got an AK MSN. That shoots the uh, 762 by 39. It's not bad. I'm going to drop the OPI SKS because I think this is in better condition. Looks pretty clear over at that next bunker. Oh, that's me coming down. Yeah. Demo. Eating real quick while I found some stuff. Okay. What's on the hit on you, slap? He's dead. Right there. He's dead. There you go. <laughs> Caught me off guard while I was over there eating. Yeah, what the heck? He just like rolled around the corner. And so... He's a ninja scab. I didn't hear him. Let me eat these crackers and I'll be good to roll. He came from that, that next camp down. All right, I'm ready. You good? Just a second. Pack in a mag. Okay. Go ahead and drink this pineapple juice, too. I'm going to touch his body. Another. Oh, another. Same direction. I think he's across he's in the camp. Towards that, yeah, towards that bunker. We just, uh, how much time do we have left? We're gonna, let's push straight past out this, out that gate you're at and then we'll just keep aisles on the right as we push past left yep yeah we'll watch watch the bunker off on the right side you good okay yeah i don't see him over there he's somewhere in the trees still nothing I'm to your right, right behind you. Alright. That sounded like he was almost behind us. You good? He is, he is behind us. Was that him shooting? Yeah. I can't see him at it. Oh, there he is. I don't see him. Good. Good, he didn't hit me, but I don't see where he is. Wanna push up on him? Push to the push right him. I still don't see him. I was just pressing into the bushes. He's hit. I see blood, but I think I shot him, but he was by the red. So yeah. you you ready to push up? Yeah, got this AK. On your right. All right. There he is. Down. He's down. Let's clear it while we're here. 
there two? Level four. That was the only one. Is that you moving? Yeah, on your right. Alright. Are you in the camp? I'm pushing in now. Uh, I'm in the camp. Searching the scav, touching the scav. I'm checking this box. Here's an AK-102. I don't really want it because I'm going to be overweight. I'm good. I think we're short on time, so... Yeah, let's push down the hill to that convoy. There's a grenade box here. Let me check it real quick. All right. Be nice to have a grenade. Smoke grenade. Yeah, let's do it. All right. 16 minutes, and then we rush to outskirts. It's your convoy straight ahead. And then the camp's up the hill on the right. Okay, I'll just uh, run through the convoy. I got a full bag. I'm happy with it. All right. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Go to you, sec. Pond, and we'll keep pushing. Okay. Didn't run into the snipers yet. <laughs> yeah, no, we're, we're good on this side. Let me, I need to drop something. All right, that should be fine to regenerate now. I was overweight. I dropped a magazine. Which hill is it? The one in front of us or to the right? Uh, it's going to be the one that the camp's right in front of us, but we're going to go around the left side to avoid the mines. Yeah, yeah. Where are we at in time? 15 minutes? Well, got to watch out for player scavs. You guys. Go ahead and jog up here. And feels bad. Watching left, got nothing. Got to learn to hold. Back side of this one. All right, this is your camp right here. Just keep an eye out for. Player scabs rushing here to loot it. I didn't get the quest yet. We'll come further into it over here this way. Check your quest tab. Did you get it? Or I don't know. Tab, tasks. And then tasks, yeah. Locate the temporary. Yeah, it's checked off. All right, cool. Let's roll. We're just push straight down this way. There's mines to our right. Found yeah, that right. out the hard way. Yeah. Even on that uh, dirt area, there's mines. Yeah. That's about as far to the left leaving that place that I'm willing to go without risking where the mines are. Yeah, we should take a look at the scav house as we pass through. All right. Time. 13 minutes, we got plenty of time. I hope we get out of this one. This is a big come up for me. Let's cross right to this next hill over here just to get off this side. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and run. Got your bag. Big crossing. Okay. Get a little serpentine going there, chat. There's Sniper Rock in front of us. EMC yep. Sniper Rock. 
All right, let's. Cr I'm gonna run out of this field to about 25, 30 meters. All right, let's slow it down. If they're up here, they sh they should have heard us. So, right behind you. I don't see me up on the rock itself yet. Can we sit here on this hill for a sec? On this side, or are you want to go on the other side? Um, this side, I just want to do stuff yeah, a little bit. To these, let's go to these boxes and see if there's anything worthwhile. You can check it out. You can drink. Makarov, you want a little pistol to sell? I'll take it. All right, I'll drop it right here. It's right in front of me. All right, I'm, I'm good to push whenever you are. And that Makarov's right there. Thank you. Do it. Yep. Cross the road, you can take a look towards that checkpoint, see if there's anyone to shoot. Feel ya. No one left. I don't see anything right. Alright, let's keep going. Do you go back side of the wall? The safer way or uh yeah. Let me check this. I've been drinking and eating a lot, so I got some spots now. Alright. Yeah, I don't see any loot. I hit it up. There's a scab body to the right. Is Back there? there. Yeah. Okay. Here. Huh. Come this way. Up for the mines. He's out here in the middle. Hold on, where are you? Uh, towards the road and the behind you, towards the mines. Scab body right here. I always hit this one up now. Nowadays. I've never been there. I don't. I still don't see you. Little ammo. Um. Okay. So. It was towards the mine side, so oh, I'm to I your see. right side. All the way back there. Okay. Right side, yeah. I don't want to hit any mines. Did you loot? I didn't loot them completely. Oh, I see. The, I see the body. Was there anything worthwhile? PP and PS ammo. Okay. PP is good for AK-74s. Okay, we've got eight minutes. Yeah. Actually, I think I have the key for this bunker, if the if the green smoke's going, which I do. Let's, the bunker's just beyond these rocks. Hey, let's do it. Let's exfil. Let's, it, it's not always there, but if you see the green smoke, it's it's available. There can be scabs on the on the other side though, so we'll just I'll look for the smoke real quick, and if it is, we can we can take it. And no smoke. We're going all the way then. Yep. The minutes we could even look for some scabs to the left. Yeah. This is where the minefield cuts in, where I've died twice <laughs> off off stream. Your left. Right to your left. All right. I don't see anything yet.
Yeah, it cuts in and then it cuts out farther to the right, just past this little hill behind me. Still pretty quiet. I don't see any movement down there. I got nothing, man. It's not a bad problem if you got a good set of loot. Very different playing solo or with dual because now I know you can look in one direction, I can look in the other direction. Yeah, it changes the mechanics up a lot in a good way. I don't know about like threes or fours trios or that would be a little crazy. Dude, there's no scav spawned over here that I see. All right, let me go ahead and run. I heard a random shot. It sounds like it's over at the sawmill. Yeah, yeah. I agree. I see the light at the end of the tunnel. All right, let's go ahead and make a break for it. Sounds good. What I don't understand is the raids where they spawn obviously three parties like right next to you. Yeah, if you look at like the map genie, um, some of the maps, most of the maps have potential for that. It's just kind of a matter of luck whether it happens or not. So I think there's probably about 15 or 20 spawns for players on any given map. Hey, I hit hit count 11. Holy mackerel. Yeah, some of those scabs, I feel like they were the scabs with the higher health pool. Maybe they didn't, they didn't spawn PMCs, so they upped the scav level. It's possible. I mean, there's, there's a couple PMCs, but it might, just been, might have been a slow raid. And I'm level 8. And awesome. Oh, you get a headshot nice. bonus. I like that. Yeah, if you can never line up a headshot, it's definitely, it's worth it XP-wise. I think it's like 100 or something like that. I think I headshot the guy that was running away from me. I guess it pays to shoot through the bushes. Yeah. Now let me turn in this car battery. All right, chat, we got the uh, rapper quest done. If I can't get that, tasks, Sold my finish chocolate. So my guys didn't make it, and the transports were looted, plus a USEC camp nearby, you say? That sucks. The cargo is very important. Well, you've done your part at the deal, so here's the reward. You can buzz off now. Wow. I got a therapist quest complete with the car battery. I got a... Uh... Oh, the she needs a car battery? You'll need, uh, I think, four, actually. Let me put this uh, syringe away. Or the, the stimulant. It's... Try to save one of each type of stimulant that you find in Raid, because there's quests later down the road that you'll need them, and they're kind of hard to find. Yeah, I've been saving all that, yeah. And I need more MP7 ammo. What what quest do you have? 
Um, I've got to do the pocket watch on. I don't know if you know this map. Yeah, on customs. Yeah. Yeah, that one. The time to do it's during the day. I can tell you that because we run into a lot of squads in the evening. Well, maybe if we go a little light, like maybe do a budget run. Try it out. I don't know. Yeah. Um. In the past, the key that you need used to have multiple uses, but it's only a one use. Um, actually, let me see what it costs in the flea market. What, what key would that be? Does it say what key you need to find in the quest data? Looking. Obtain the bronze pocket watch on a chain on customs. Ob optional, obtain the key to the fuel tanker truck. Does not say... Let me Google it. Um, what's that? That quest is searching, or I have to obtain the bronze pocket watch. I think it's usually in the cab of the truck, and then obtain the key to the fuel tanker truck. I'm assuming I get it there. Yeah, so you get it in the dorms, but I can buy that key off the flea market. If it wasn't found in raid, though, maybe that wouldn't help me. It says optional. No, it doesn't. I just have to open it for you. So, um, I just need to find the name of the key. Yeah, I got an AK to mess around with here. Nice. Do you have a? Is it the AKM that you found on the last one? Yeah. Pretty good condition. Actually, the condition went down when I repaired it. <laughs> the heck? Yeah, it, so it's got a chance to wear out to a certain, between a certain uh, amount. Man, I don't see the name of this key. Oh, make sure you turn in that quest for the, the transports. Done. Machinery key. Let me see how much it costs. If it, if it's expensive, we can just go to the dorms and get it. Maybe they took it off the flea market. All right, well, let me switch out my rifles. I don't really want to take a motion in on this. If you have that um, that rail that you took out of that last raid, you should be able to put that on that AK, and you'll be able to put a red dot on it. I think it should be able to peek over the front site, so I think it should be good. Okay. I only have one mag for that, though. Dude. I can bring you a few. You can buy them, but they're only going to be like 10 rounders um, with level 1 traders. Let me buy a few. Running out of PS ammo, too. I think we're going to need... I got the T forty five M one, but I know that that's probably not good. It's not bad. It doesn't do as quite as good as the PS, but it's usable. Um, I'll load up these three mags with PS for you. Thanks, man. Yeah. 
Put the crappier ammo in the bottom chat. Um, is there anything I can do to improve, um, the AK? So if I do like a linked search, um, there isn't too much you can do with level one traders. You can do like a, a rail dust cover where you have to take the rear side off and then the top rail, uh, the, uh, take the dust cover off and then it replaces both of them. It lowers the recoil a little bit. Once you put optics straight onto it, the charging handle, okay, or yeah, you can do it. That raises your ergo one, so I mean it's not a huge, not gonna make a huge difference for you. Find that, and then AKM wooden pistol grip. Um, ergo that's just, plus that's six. The one that's on it now, right? Check that out. Oh yeah, it is. This is AKM wood. Hmm. Could be about the same. This thing's gonna suck. It'll be fine. It'll hit just as hard as the SKS. Um just don't, I wouldn't don't blaze away on full auto. Because <laughs> it's it's gonna have a pretty good recoil. I don't know that I want to bring the MP7 in because it's not very good for anything other than like clearing rooms. I'm going to swap in a AK-74, I think. Map was AK. That's not bad. Here, I'll bring you something. You can't buy it yet, but it's it's only 4K, um, and it does. This is like the best cheap butt stock upgrade you can do on AK to lower recoil. Thank you. Yep. And let me just get my magazine situated on this new rifle, and I'll be good to go. I'm gonna put a light on this since we're gonna have to go into dorms. Oh boy. It's not it's not dark, but it, it's good for blinding people. So I got the Lunar New Year package. Nice. Did you if just claim it in your messenger if you haven't already? That gives you the MP seven and some ammo. Oh, I did. Yeah, I got the MP7. I just don't know how to build it yet. I didn't do anything with it. It's kind of good right out the box for what its purpose is. Um, the only thing I do is toss a red dot on it. I think I'm going to bring four mags. Good. Get ready to shoot a lot. Better to have and not need than need and not have, right? Yep. Name this movie. Hurley, why you only got one arm, but you have three guns. I don't want to die from lack of shooting back. <laughs> um off the top of my head, I don't know. Unforgiven, Clint Eastwood. I think it was like an early 90s movie. 
Nice. Also, I got a PKM with a silencer off of a scab in like a, I think it's like a 4X site or I don't know, 6X maybe. Let me just go back to your stream and see. Oh yeah, that scope, yeah, right there. Four times That's not 32. bad, it's a four power. Um, it's not bad if you want to do some sniping. Which is good to work on your sniper skill because you'll need to get it up to level three for um, a Jaeger quest here in the near future. That's what I'm, I've been working on mine for. All right, well, I'm ready to go whenever you are. I think I am too. Well, let me repair this armor. Yeah, that's what I was double checking. I was like, oh, my armor is going to be zeroed out. There's so much stuff to like double check. Uh, my meds are good enough. Food's good enough. I get some extra, so I think I'm good to go. We have right, to go. So to... I brought you three mags, and then I th brought you a uh, little GP25, like the Russian grenade launcher buttstock kit. It's just a pad that goes on your buttstock, so just drag and drop it when you load in. Okay, and we're on, on the stock. Customs. Should be yeah. Let me go on to it. You do the seventeen thirty. You can see the looking for group is pretty packed on this one, even during the mid midday. Oh boy. Dude, that is packed. Okay, we're going to definitely run into people here. All right, I'm going to ready up, and All I'll right. be right back. on forgetting to put on the music chat
the funky song. I like that song. All right, I'm back. All right, so we need to go to dorm 205 on the three-story dorm. But I'll drop these magazines in that part for you. We're actually right near dorms, so take these mags real quick. Come to me. There. All right here. There and then the butt pad. All right, let's roll because there's going to be people coming up behind us. I don't see the butt pad. You picked it up. Okay, cool. You can toss it on your gun, just drag and drop it to your rifle. Are right, you ready? Ready to go. Okay, what right, let's you... cross this road and push straight across. Lost you? Past the white. Past the red. That's me down there. To your okay. left. Gotcha. These dorms can be a hot spot, so let's just try to get in there and grab that key. Hey, Pedro. Put the key in your safe, uh, in your pouch. Good to see you, man. Okay. There's a staircase on the right side of the building. It'll take us to the second floor. Okay, let's get in and out of here quick. Gunshots, but I think it's at the other dorms. Okay. And then jump on this bed and come into this room on this side. No, this side, sorry. And then it's in the brown jacket on the right. You have to crouch. Got it, it's in my pouch. All right, cool. Well, we got that out of the way, so. I'm gonna come back out into the hallway. You gonna leave the building or you need to search in here? It's definitely a hot spot. Let's leave and just get the quest done. Just right, go. Okay. Oh, I got sniped, don't go out that door. Outside? Okay. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, that's the problem with running points. Sorry about that, man. That's good. I figured it was coming because everyone's generally running to the dorms. So can I get out the back side here? There. Yeah, if you go to the other end of the hallway, it'll put you out on the opposite end. How do I get out here? Just keep going straight. There's a door on the far side. Looks like, is it open? I don't know if it spawns open or not, but I think it does. So, go out that door. Don't jump out the window. Oops, sorry. Oh, you're good. Actually, I didn't see you on the first floor. And so that if you go back towards where we spawned in, there's a construction site across the street. Like, as we approach the dorms building, there's a street directly to your right. Um, and there's a construction site with that truck, and that's where the truck is. Okay, so I just go straight over here, and then to the right, you say? From where you're at right now, if you just go straight to those trees at, on the far side, there's a road, and you'll see the construction site with a like a half-finished building. And there's a tanker truck. You just go up to the driver's side door of it, and the pocket watch is on the floorboard of the truck. Dude, you got... Wow, they sniped you quick. Yeah, and it was a one-shot to my chest, so whatever he hit me with... It went through level three armor, no problem. Yeah, I'm running towards gunfire. I'm out of camp. What are your extractions? Um, it should probably be ZBs, I think. ZB 13, ZB 10, 11. Yeah, so once you try to get to that construction site, and then you're going to have to go to the. Let me pull up the map. I'm telling you the right cardinal directions, but it'll be the opposite. The direction we traveled out of our spawn, but on that far side of the map, is the easiest exfil. Yeah, I'm just going to play it safe. Not used to this map. Yeah, so push up to those trees off to your, like, 10 o'clock. There's a little hill. 
Um, I'd wait a few minutes up in those trees, really. There can be sp scabs spawning off on the right near that road that we ran across. Thought I heard something. I'm gonna wait. Yeah. Did you equip that compass? Yep. All right. So you're gonna we're, the X bill for you is gonna be on the eastern side of the map. And I think the compass key is you, if you haven't remapped it. Like, if you just uh, close out of your inventory, hit you, it should pull it up for you. Oh. Uh, uh, I think it shows the correct... So north is behind me at my... <clears throat> 7 o'clock? Pointed more southerly. Yeah, that's that's correct. So you're going to want to go west to get to Xville. But so, whenever it's safe for you to move, that construction site's going to be pretty much due south of you. Dude, You'll cross they... over a, a hard ball, and then uh, there's, if you skirt the, the wall that you'll come up to on the right side, there's going to be some cracks in the wall you can go through, and it'll put you right up by the construction building. You'll see the truck on the far side of that building. What's the timer at for you? 33. Yeah, I'd, I'd give it a few minutes. There's nothing wrong with waiting. <laughs> I've done it plenty of times on customs to get a quest done. Because um, you'll have people bum, bum rushing the dorms, and then once they have dorms looted, they'll generally push to exfil. Um, Guy here? Could be could be either a scab if it's up over by that uh, container building, or it could be a player pushing across to the other side of the map. The player. I'm gonna mute myself while I turn up my phone so I can hear what's going on. Could have taken a shot. Do I need to go past green containers, or you probably yeah, shot so the sniper you see those, staff? You see those uh, towers off in the distance, or those silos? Yeah. That, when you were late peeking the left side, that you see the construction building with unfinished walls just before them on the right. That construction building is ne right next to the truck you want. I'd go ahead and push out of that area though, because players are going to cross through there after they, after they loot dorms. A lot of times you go to Xville. If you push to the trees at about your 10 o'clock, you'll be good. Well, that one guy just passed through here, and there he was shooting at something. Yeah, there can be scabs on the road. There's some good concealment, though, off to your left, up in those trees, and you can kind of peek into the construction zone without committing to going in quite yet. There should be a little hill off to your left. May have to go about 50 meters left. Where's the uh, so break in the wall? It's actually, so turn back towards that wall. It's going to be on the right side as you're facing it now. So if you want to just make a break for it, Dead guy here. The dead guy here. 
Yeah, it's a dead scab, he's always here. Got insurance for all those. Uh, you're pro if you want. Yeah. Oh, there's a guy right yes, here. Go into this bushes straight ahead. You follow the wall. There's probably a scab over there. I think I got him. Nope. Just follow, walk through those bushes and keep skirting the wall. You'll see a crack in it eventually. Coming through the crack. And you'll see a tanker truck on the opposite side. There's scabs that spawn in here too, so watch yourself. Potentially sniper scab up on the building to your right. The like warehouse looking building. But they can be all around this tanker truck, so. The driver's side door, you'll have to unlock it with that key you got. And then look on the floor for it. Now you have to extract it. It'll, it'll put it, it keeps it safe where you don't have to, you, if you die with it, you die with it. Um, which the X fill is going to be to the opposite direction you're running. Okay, you got to... Uh... If you push past that tanker truck from the way you came in. Okay. It's, gonna, it's on that far side of the map, all the way at the end. Is that, what do they call, old gas? Old gas is gonna be to about your 10 o'clock you see that big building off on the right about 10 or two o'clock not the guy about 10 o'clock there's someone it could be scabs that was crazy The rounds, huh? DP rounds, right? But it was body shots. Yeah, he had he had level four armor. That's why. I'll zero that out. Lug ammo, not bad. I'll take it. Oh man, you get BP for 7.62 by 39. That's that's one of the best ammos in the game for that. That'll go through pretty much any when you're shooting. Excellent. Outside maybe level six. All right, so once you're good, <clears throat> you're gonna wanna just keep pushing to the East. You can just skirt like these. Stay, stay near the far wall that you're near, and just keep pushing that direction. It'll. It's probably the, the safest route out of here. Well, at least I got to fire my gun. <laughs> you got to kill at least. Right across or through the crack? Yeah, no, just keep staying stay inside the compound. Just so it kind of covers you since you're alone. You go through that connex and then... Uh, keep going all the way to the far side. 
you'll hit a wall here coming up. You can either go right at the end of the wall towards old gas, or you can go out back onto the street. Either way uh, works. But do you hear any shots or anything over to your right? No. That's probably the way I'd go most of the time. It's also it's not bad going either way really. It just depends on how busy the server is. Okay, so I have to go past this porta potty. No, so if you're gonna go left, you go through that that connex that's back there, or if you're going right towards old gas, um, see the hole in that connex. Yeah. Okay, there's a train to my right. All right, so keep riding this blue wall. That big building you see off to your um, two o'clock, that's another big hot spot. The bosses can spawn in it too. And then, uh, but you're gonna go around the edge of this building as you keep going, the direction you're going, and then you take a left. Just ride that wall all the way to hit a concrete wall. I'd give it a run. So you keep following the building, just go and run out the open area. You'll cross over the train tracks to see a cement wall, and then you're going to take a right. Okay. All right, and you can jump over this wall actually here in a little bit. If you look to your left, you see the wall gets low. You just have to jump and hit crouch right there. And then just that direction, just follow the train tracks for the most part. Yeah, it's been kind of the guy, throughout. The guy in front of me. Could be a scab, could be a player. But scabs can spawn all around that building to your 10 o'clock on that far side as well as some by the door that you're near. Do I have to go through here? Uh, yes. Either on this side or the far side, but the far side tends to have more scabs. There's scabs to my right. I don't have to go to the right. I have to go straight? Yeah, the, to the right through that under the bridge is old gas, so you don't need to go there. Okay, let's check out that guy in front of me. It was a scab or a PMC. I don't know. He ran across the tracks. Got anything? Scavs up ahead, he's shooting the scavs. There's an extract straight ahead, about 100 meters. The guy up there? Um, if there's green smoke, you can use that one. But the guy it's up not here? Always open. I just hold what you got for now, unless he has heard you. Alright, so your best bet... If, did you see him up there? Or? I thought I did. It might have been a tree. Whenever you feel comfortable with it, push straight across that railroad track where it curves to the left. Keep pushing straight to that far side. See, the, actually, that, that exfil might be open. He yeah, has the lights on. See the light to your left? Go into that door. Look to your, like, 9 o'clock. Yep. Open that, and you can exfil through there. It's only open when that light's on, though. Oof. Just go to that far door, and you'll be good. Holy mackerel, dude. I can't believe that you just, like, peeked out there, and they just one-tapped you. That was insane. Yeah, it wasn't even a peek. I was just getting ready to go down the stairs, and he whacked me. Like, insta... Make sure you turn in that pocket watch. I hate that quest, but you got it on the first try, so that's good. Dude, that was incredible. Thank you. Yeah, you, you helped me out quite a bit. Yeah, no problem. Oh, man. Well, I'm glad I let that one EMC go by because I think he pushed for me in front of me and killed everything in front of me. clean it up for you all right so actually once you turn that in i think prapper has you go to woods to kill 15 scabs oh wow okay we could use my sniper 
Yeah, it would be bad. I gotta remember to eat. Heck, I might toss on that old MP7 and Mosin combo that I've been surviving with. So I wanted to tell you, like, you know where that sniper rock is on woods? Mm -hmm. I was scaving, and uh, there was, like, a guy with a strand hog juiced out of control, dead, untouched, right underneath it. And uh, I think I just got sniped, like his buddy killed me or something, but or the guy yeah. who shot him. But yeah. after I went a bit away, oh, my God. It is absolutely insane. Now they're OPX. I think SKS. I'm gonna try to burn through this older level four armor that I have. Actually I'm gonna run this level three. Old eighties Russian one. I'm trying to I've got I've saved up almost eight million rubles. And I'm No way, to, dude. Of, I've got some good scav runs. Um I did one the other night. I took a screenshot of him at the send it in the Discord. But uh, I think I made right at a million rubles with what I got out of it. Dude, what did you get? What was the best item? Um, let me pull it up. I'll put it, I'll put it in the uh, in the Discord that you got. Thanks, man. I'll check it out on stream. You don't mind? Yeah. Yeah. Go. So I got a Bitcoin, two gold chains, two suppressors, a vodka, a sewing kit, random 40 millimeter grenade launcher round, a red dot, the diary, uh, alkali, the green gunpowder, which sells for like, I think 55k on the flea market, the lion, the condensed milk. It was, it was a pretty good, pretty good run. Plus I found the SR25 that's in the picture. Dude, what? That is insane. You even got vodka? Yeah, two of them. Holy mackerel, dude. That's ridiculous. Yeah, it was, it was, if it wasn't a million rubles in that one, it was just under like 900,000. But so I've been, and that's my uh, woods loot run. Um, which, heck, if you want to, I can show you where I go for that. If you want to do a quick scav run. Or you want to keep rolling PMC? It doesn't matter either way. Oh uh, yeah, we could go quick scav. Yeah, I'm good. All right. We could do it together. Yeah, I don't scavs. You don't always spawn right next to each other, but I can see where you are, and we can link up. The woods. So, yep, woods. Let's do the eight a.m. There you are. Yeah, that was probably my best scab run I've had of this wipe in terms of money. But in general, doing that same general route where I'll go through the town with the church, the town where we got in a pretty good firefight last time, near the Bridge Exville, and then the small logging camp. Um, just hitting those three spots up. Sometimes I'll hit scab bunker if I have time. Um, I'll generally get about... 250 to 400,000 per scab run if you're selective on what you're picking up and, you, and it, it's kind of a lock too because it depends on the, the size of the bags you have but you might not be able to make quite as much money without the flea market because you can sell a lot of the stuff that you don't sell for much to traders on the flea market for a lot more because players craft with them but you can still find some solid items that would get you probably a couple hundred grand without the flea market like just that Bitcoin alone, that's, I think it was 160,000. It follows whatever Bitcoin's at in real life. <laughs> Bitcoin just went up quite a bit, like maybe 30%. Yeah. 
Went from 17k to 23, I think. Nice. Uh, some of my buddies that were doing overseas contracting about, I don't know, to 12, 13 years ago, they, they got into Bitcoin when it was really cheap, like way under a dollar even. And uh, I'd like to see how much they got from, from what they sold. They were buying, getting into it pretty heavy back then too. So there's no telling how much they made off it if they sold when it was at its peak like a year or two ago. Well, I think that, I mean, it's pretty high right now, but I think the secret yeah, was I, to I mean, just- take 20 grand. Just invest in Bitcoin, period. Yeah. But you had to choose the right exchange because FTX went out of business. Yeah. I've got some Doge that I made a few grand off of uh, last year or the year before, whenever it was at its peak, and then some Shiba. All right. I am. I think I'm over near the village. Or no, I'm near Sniper Scab. Where'd you spawn in? Oh, that's you right next to me. Okay. You ready? I'm right uh, behind yeah, you. Oh, where, yeah, where are you be? Right Let me set up my me. meds. Four, five, six. All right. Uh, where are we at? All right, let's go up this hill through the small logging mill whenever you're set. We've actually got a decent bit of time, too, so... And we got Scav Bridge. We'll take Scav Bridge as our exfil on this one. We'll take a route that'll end us there. Get right behind you. All right, so that's Sniper Rock up there to our 10. Yeah, you gotta remember we're Scavs. Okay, don't shoot a Scav. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I generally, uh, I've only ever killed a couple PMCs um, as a Scav, because I'll try to, I don't really trust Scavs either, because a lot of them don't care if you're a scab or not oh really not a lot but I've, I've been killed enough as a scab by scabs that I, I generally just avoid people in general oh if you hit f1 you can make the scab speech so that's what I do to make sure someone's a scab oh okay f1 cool yep it won't say it though if your guy's out of breath like if he's in the red so you gotta wait till he catches his breath to say it all right, we're just going to run like a madman because I want to try to get, get the most out of this. Scav Bridge, Old Station, RUAF Roadblock. Yeah, let's do Scav Bridge because it'll put us out kind of the direction we're headed now. Okay. You have a decent bag? Uh, no. But I do have a backpack. Right. Okay. Let's start, let's start in the village. Try to get away from this uh, exfil. That the uh, I think it's the UN one that's over there for the PMCs. Yeah. Actually, it said I think we have it too. We have the RUAF one, which is on the oh. far side of the, the med camp. Okay. I've got the sawed off motion bolt action, which so I'm not going to be hitting anything anytime soon if we run into anyone. I've got a VPO without a stock, so I'm not going to be hitting anything either. <laughs> And I'm gonna keep it on single fire. All right. So you see the house up ahead. That's that's. This is the direction we approached from yesterday, or when we played last. So all these houses, I'd grab any of the spawns for food, and then there's also if you look under the bed, sometimes you can find bitcoins and other golden items. The beds that are upstairs in each of these houses. Okay. I'm going to fire off a scab sound because I hear footsteps. Yeah, it's a scab. Okay, cool. Let's go into this house here. Looks like someone might have looted it already. Yeah, someone's been in here. Let's take a look upstairs. Uh, it's not the end of the world. You already checked the bag down here? Uh, yeah, it had soap in it, that was it. Which, if you need soap for your laboratory upgrade, it's not bad to grab. I don't know if you have it or not. Uh, I do, I do, but I'll take it anyway. 
All right, let's go back out. Yeah, this this one's been looted pretty hard, so it might not be as fruitful. Yeah, we're gonna check this house. Yeah, and let's cross and go to the house on this side of the road. Where did you go? Uh, opposite side. Okay. Turn to your left. Well, we can search that house, dude. It's fine. Go into that courtyard and uh, check that. There's a dead scab here. Got an SKS. I'll take it. Uh, it's a VPO. This guy's got an SKS here. Do you have that white armor already? Because you'll need that to turn into skier. I don't. You don't have armor, toss that on because you can turn it in no matter what condition it's in. I took the tactical rig off this guy. Alright, I'm gonna check too. this house. This this was probably a player. Yeah, it might be. Sometimes the players or the AI scabs will search bodies and take stuff too, though. You'll see them taking guns. They may be mad yesterday because there was an M4 in decent shape, and the players, the AI scab, picked it up and right as I was about to grab it. All right, I'm checking upstairs. I think this this town's been looted pretty hard, so if there's nothing here, we should push hard to that next village. Yeah, this one's empty. Alright, where are you? Module M3, is this it? Yeah, I got that uh, thing. I'm down below, still on that same scab. Okay, is that and you with the... Are. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Just push out of this town. Okay, hold up a second. Touch in. Okay. You went to the right? Yeah, I see you. Okay. Well, I'm, I turned the corner. You buy the bus? Turn, turn you buy the yellow bus? Uh, nine o'clock. That's a scab there. I'm, look, to your nine, that's me right there. Okay. We'll go to that um, swampy village with the church. Okay, I'm sorry. I lost you again. I just kept running straight. I'm along the road. All right, take a left. That 90, 90 degree. You see me? Yeah, I got you. Okay. We're good now. And we'll skirt this road that's off to our right. We'll stay on the left side. There's a hidden stash we can search on the way into the town, too. Unfortunately, that town was hit because that's that's where you, I got a lot of the good stuff. So pretty heavy, so I'm, I'm trailing you pretty bad. All right, just keep heading that same general direction. I stopped. Uh, let's go up on this little hill. There's a hidden stash you can search. I'm pretty full, to be honest. I'll tell you if there's anything worthwhile in it. Just some paper, gunpowder, nippers, and a fuse. I'll give you anything we find if you if anything tickles your fancy. I don't really need it, per se. All right, come back down the hill. Okay. And then we're going to go around the rocks this way. Time. We got 12 minutes. We got plenty of time. Right. All right we're gonna go towards the church. But that first, remember the house with the tent in it that I said has good stuff. We're gonna check that and see if anyone's looted it. Okay. Well, if we only have 12, there's no PMC exit over here. So. Yeah, we should be in the clear. So. I mean, if you run into a player like me that likes to ride the timer out, it, it still could be possible, but it's pretty unlikely.
Sometimes if I, if I need sniper kills, I'll just uh, set up and snipe at hot spots for where scabs might be running, like player scabs. Gotcha. For where they'd want to loot. But All right, I don't see anything in the tent. There's some. Oh, that's nothing. It's trash. The Shonka. Which is it, the big one or the small one? Big one. Keep the big one. You'll need it for Jaeger. Got some food. Right. Let's go see what's inside this church. To the church if you go up here into the steeple item spawns can be in here which i don't see anything i feel like someone's already been looting this all this stuff it would be right in here you have to crouch to come in okay and well, then how you do i get out of here out. so come onto the far side you have to actually crouch and look down to get out of that oh wow if you ever go up into it because it brings your head down and then we just drop through this little pond water Nice. Alright, let's check this house here on the left. So this is a marked spawn. Some good stuff can be here if no one's already gotten to it. Here's, no, I thought it was a golden necklace. Man, I think someone came and hit all my hot spots as a PMC. Hey, maybe they died in here to scavs or something. Maybe we could find his body. <laughs> yeah. Let's check this house here on our left. Well, this one I don't think you can go in. It's the next one. There can be spawns on this table too, potentially, but there's nothing there. Alright, I'm going into the cabin. Okay, I'm gonna keep a watch outside here. Nothing but some PRS ammo, PS for the 545, and PBM. All right, let's keep pushing the direction we were heading, up the hill towards the scab ca uh, camp and bunker. Man, this scab run made a liar out of me, but this, that's, this is the exact route that I took and where I got that $9 million worth of stuff. Half of it's luck, though. So, depending on what spawns and how many players looted through there. Yeah, no one came up north, huh? Yeah. There's a box to check in here. So the fuel can spawn here sometimes, but it's nothing now. That you can't pick those two up. <laughs> I heard a scab, so I just shattered back to him. Okay, cool. Grenade boxes in here, as well as a green box, but this is empty so far. That's empty too. In here. Let's up check top. that second floor up top. There can be uh, some decent drink spawns on this table, but not this time. There's nothing, nothing over in there. here in the box? Yeah, I think someone just hit all this up hard. Don't oh, let this man. loot run let you down. This is a great path to take, though. Seems good. And then... We have time. Let's go to... Here's a dead scav. See if he has anything worthwhile. He's been looted. Uh, we gotta go back to the... Let's go to the convoy. Before the, so, yeah. Let's go to the convoy and then the bunker and we'll go to the scav bridge. Because there's two boxes at this convoy down the hill that we can search. Are okay, you on the road still? Yeah. Yeah, I see you way up. We actually have time. We could probably check that USEC camp. It's right up the hill. Sure. As long as we don't run Maybe into any mines. Empty. Yeah, I'll keep us on the safe side. There's still no that's spawns, empty. right? So. Yeah. Alright, so we're just side. gonna. If you follow the. In between these two bodies of water, 
follow around to the left. There's no mines on this side. Okay. I lost as long you. as we head out by about, yeah. just put, go to the go to the water and just skirt around it. I see you. Pretty chunky. Gonna be hard for me to get back up north, so we should as hit as, this as and go. As long as we head out, uh, I'd say with four minutes left, we'll have time, even if you guys running out of breath. So it gives us about two minutes to search these camps real quick. Does it help if I give if I eat? Um, only if you guys like starving. Or... Which sometimes you can spawn in with your scab hurt or hungry, so it's possible. But now that's empty. It's the SVD part, gas tube. There's a food spawn in here. So if, do you still need Iskris? A lot of times they can spawn in this. I think I got all the croutons. Nothing in here. There's a medical table with blood. Sometimes it spawns stuff. Dude, this whole area is looted. Yeah, it's been hit hard. There's nothing over there. Box empty? Yeah. All right, let's push to the other camp then. Give it about one minute and we'll book it out of here. Dude, you would have thought they would have gotten full before. Unless they had a big squad or something. Yeah. We've seen all the dead scavs. Everyone is like picked clean. Yeah. That gun box is empty. And by the this truck. Table's empty. Yeah, there's a box in the back of the truck that you can look for. Random shotgun barrel. I'll take it just to sell. Oh, it's empty. I'm going to the tent back here, the medical tent. Yeah, there's a gun box in there too, as well as the medical spawn. And. Yeah, this one's been picked clean hard, so... And sometimes there's a good loot spawn over here, but if they already picked it all, they probably know where it is, like along the side of this bed. Like for... gold stuff. Alright, let's get out of here. Dang. It was a bit of a letdown, but this route right here is what you want. On this map, at least. So everyone's initial spawn was probably over here. Yeah. So they're on the opposite side of the map. Yeah. Actually, we might be able to peek into this bunker, or if you want, to, if you're worried about the time, you, if, with your guy being tired, you can push straight to the scab bridge. Which, if you follow the dirt road up the hill, it'll take you straight to the bridge. Okay, I'll uh, do that. And I'll meet you there. My scav's actually pretty leveled up, because I'll, I'll generally scav at night when it's busy and then play, if I have time to play during the day with work, I'll play off peak hours with my PMC. If I'm playing solo at least, because I feel like I die more more times than not just because I'm running into groups at night. Do you scav at night? Yeah, a lot of times. I'll, sometimes I'll run some PMC stuff, but if I die too many times, I'll... Eventually, you just say screw it and uh, go straight to scaving. So when you say level up, you mean just leveling up fence, right? No, like as the more you play your scav, he gets in better shape, just like your PMC does. Oh no um, way! Yeah, I found another Chachanka if you need it. I'll bring it to you at the bridge. Okay, I'm pushing to the bridge. I'm gonna search inside this bunker real quick. I'll just stay inside of... I think there's a thing over to the left. Okay. Oh, this scav actually had you, a decent bit of stuff. You're saying on. you Someone want me to, to this restart the camp. PC? Or you restarted the PC? Uh, two minutes, I'm going to be booking it towards you. Pedro, how is the stream looking? You have a bueno? Or once I oh, search no. this bunker, which I'm going into right now. Sorry, say that again? You're going to do what? Once I hit the two minute marker, when I'm done searching the bunker, I'm going to be running to you. I'm prone behind a wall. Alright, go ahead and head towards the bridge, because I don't know if there's going to be anything. Oh, I mean, I'm on the bridge. Okay, cool. And... Yes, don't go... Try not to touch the wall, because the sniper's can sometimes shoot through it, and I'm running to you now. There's like a barrier. I'll stand up. 
There's a barrier, but I think he can kind of, if he sees your hands, clip through the wall. You'll see where I'm at. All right, I'm coming down the road. You won't see me yet, but you'll see me in a second. All right, I'm on the road where you might be able to see me. I usually take it right down to the wire with the scav. I see you crouched there. Um, just to try to maximize my gains. I took a VPO 209 off one of the dead scavs there just to sell it. Actually, I, I fix it and then I sell it. Gotcha. With the weapon repair kit because it levels up your repair skills. And then the X fills right here. All right, good deal. Do we get extra, if we extract together, is there extra XP? No, only if you do a PMC exfil. I gotta make room in my stash. Traveled three kilometers. Mods found 13. Really? I felt like I didn't get that many mods. It counts if there's any random ones on the actual weapons themselves, even if you didn't attach them. So it could be that. And last time we played, I had the goggles on, and that was a huge mistake. It was, it's so it uncomfortable. It well, oh. like, when we, when would you guys use goggles, if at all? Uh, only on helicopter infills, really, and then I'd have them just attached to my helmet, and then any, once, I, once we got done fast roping or whatever, or just landing, then I'd pick them up once the dust is done kicking up, and just I'd keep, like, Oakley M-frames on with clear lenses. Um just for the eye protection. So just when you're going fast, like when you're skiing or whatever? Yeah, while, while you're riding on the bird, and then once we got up, I'd, so I'd cut the goggle strap and put Velcro on each side of it. On, on each side of the helmet, put Velcro on the side of my helmet. So the straps it just stay Velcroed to the helmet there and then just pop it up once I'm done around to the back of the helmet. Not a bad Almost VPO done. that I picked up, though. Was it the 209 or uh, 136? 136. Yeah, that one, that one's good. It's it's like an AKM, but just semi-auto. Um, there's nothing wrong with running that, especially if you don't tend to shoot full auto too often, which I generally don't unless I have it that, like a submachine gun. Yeah, you're not a full auto guy. That MP, MP7 I am, but... I'm only running that until I die with it, so. I need to sell a bunch of stuff because I have zero room in my stash. I had to play 
Tetris to make it fit. Five five six FMJ any good? I'm starting to run out of the M855. No, it's sell sell well, I mean what you can do is top load your mags with the M855, like the top the top ten. And then the bottom the first rounds you put into the magazine, towards the bottom of the mag can be the cheaper ammo. That way the better ammo messes the armor up and then the worse ammo tends to do more flesh damage but it won't penetrate. So by the time you get to hopefully ten rounds or so into your mag, um the armor is going to be a, a non-issue, and then the other ammo, the cheaper ammo, will kill them off. Makes sense. Would you have any interest in a level three body armor? I'm um, pretty full up. I think I already have. Let's see what this one is. Because I can repair this one to pretty much be full. Got a level four, and then I've got yeah, I've got two yeah. level fours. I'm pretty good on okay. body armor. I'm just gonna sell it then. Oh, this one's two. Yeah, I'm good. You you do you. All right. this and then sell it okay Yeah, I should almost be ready with my PMC. It wasn't bad, actually. We got a lot of good stuff. Yeah, it wasn't bad. It wasn't the explosive run I was looking for, but it, it got the job done. This should put me over 8 million, I think, once I sell everything. But if you remember that general route, that that's the money-making route right there, if, if it's not been picked clean. Yeah, I got two VPOs. Where'd he go? All right, I just need to clear out a couple more things to make room. Go with the old Soviet helmet, just because it's free. I don't know why, but the single shot like VPO is a little off putting in close quarters. But yeah, you, you just have to be quick on the clicks. Yeah, you can't click fast enough. I'll generally do, if I'm right up on someone, I'll generally just give them five rounds. I mean, anytime I'm 
engaging close quarters in this game. I can roll with that backpack. All right, make sure I need some light bleed because I died that last one. Oh, you died because you didn't have a light bleed? Oh, no, no, it was just the last game where I was PMC, I got sniped, so I had to redo my guy's loadout. Oh, okay. Where are these MP7 mags that I stashed? I need 98 rounds for this guy, and then I'll be good to go. All right, I'm good to go. I'm just worried about getting any more stuff here. If you need to sell some stuff, it can, it can take time to do it. It'd be good. I mean, it's like all stuff that I need. It's just like, at what point do you just start selling stuff that you think you might eventually use, you know? Yeah. Like, I almost want to go into factory and just, like, just Burn to get the, the MP5 out of here with all the PST ammo. It's, like, crazy. Yeah. If you want to go to factory, you can. I just need to... Uh, I have a quest I need to do there. What quests are you... Did you accept Crapper's next quest? I think the one for... I think it's killing people in woods. Let me go hit him up. One way I save a lot of space, I have two of those scab jump boxes, and I'll put all my one by one items in one, and all the two by one and bigger items in the second one. Um, so that'll free up a good bit of room initially. And then, I mean, guns, if you could see mine, let me share my screen with you. I'm at the point where I need to die more or just sell stuff. All right, I'm streaming more mine. Yeah, I'm watching you. Yeah, so here's the top of my stash over here. I've got the the premium account, so it gives you a bit, the biggest stash right off the bat. But so I got all these rifles here. I, I need to sell these two right here because those are the ones I just got out. Um, and then here's my this is the bottom, but I got these two junk boxes. And then I'll keep the, the bigger backpacks for extra storage, too. And then this is my stack of backpacks in here. Sorry, Chad. I was, uh, I can't figure out how to pop this out of Discord. But yeah, I'm, I'm definitely at the point where I need to either get in more fights or sell the guns for money. Here's my, my sexy AK-74 with a grenade launcher that I Dude, probably won't use. That thing <laughs> looks, uh, tactical. Yeah. I, uh, do you have an extended, uh, inventory? Yeah, so if, if this one's upgraded all the way on the hideout. So if you get the, um, the the more expensive option when you buy the game, you can upgrade to it as well. It'll give you it'll automatically max out your, your stash size, which you can do that too if you go to the hideout. But uh, it just takes a while. You gonna in install the. Uh, defective wall. Instruction requirements. Oh, yeah. I need. Did you use the hammer already? Pliers. I just used the hammer. Yeah. Yeah. So, the hammer is the big thing. The rest of the stuff you can find either scabbing or checking all like the technical spy spawns. Need wires and light bulbs. Wow. For the uh, illumination upgrade. Yeah, I got the. Oh, I didn't do the rest space upgrade. I just need matches for that. I'll be good to go. Med station. I can actually start to craft. I just need a blood set and med tools. This NACO. 
once you hit level 15, you can buy that stuff off the flea market to use for crafting, and it'll really speed up your progress on, in terms of like the items you can pump out, so you, you'll have them ready to go. How do I put fuel in my generator? Generator is not constructed. And then, uh, if you have it, once you click on the generator, it'll pop up with slots to put them in. Which, once it's done building, it'll you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. But you click on it, and then it'll have, I think, two empty slots starting out. And you just click on the empty slots and put the fuel case in there. So it's grayed out. So there must be something else that I need to upgrade to. If you look on that bottom bar. If you find the generator, it'll tell you what you need if you hover over it, I think, the very bottom in the stash. Oh, yeah, that's for completing that last quest. You gotta... So the OP SKS is good, but the standard SKS is more accurate, which is kind of annoying because the standard one's less than two minutes of angle in terms of accuracy, and then the OP one's over two minutes of angle. So when it comes to taking... 100 meter shots and stuff, you'll be shooting bigger groups with the OP SKS, which you can actually see stuff, but that one's the one I'd like to use if, if it let you modify it. Which you can change out, like the stock, to where you can put like a red dot or something on it, but you can't put the magnified optics on it. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of it. I don't have space. At least I got that PS ammo. Or you got the was it the BP that you found on that one? Uh, yeah, B. Sorry, BP. Yeah. yeah. The BP is if you ever see that, definitely make space for it. Cause that's that's the the meta ammo for AK AK is seven sixty by thirty nine. I'm sorry, the quest gave me um uh PS ammo. I did find the BP, and that's packed in my yeah. mags. Nice. I'm selling those two rifles. Alright, I think I'm ready whenever you are. Let me put the bigger mag in my MP7. Yeah, I'm using this cheaper level 3 armor just to burn through it. These more expensive plate carriers I have aren't bad prices. They're level fours and they cost about a hundred grand in terms of armor. Armor is pretty expensive anyway, buying it. But they're uh, I'm, I'm probably gonna switch to them when I burn through the, all this older stuff. Okay, where did you want to go? Uh, did you get the woods quest for killing scavs? Uh, no, I, well, yeah, I got it, yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna double check that. Okay. You wanna go out and do that? I could bring a rifle. Yeah, so, yeah try that, uh, that VPO that you have. The bolt action VPO with the four power. It might be a good time to run that MP MP5 um, if you wanted to potentially burn through it because you can use it for clearing rooms, like I'm doing with the MP7. I'll just bring a few extra mags and loose ammo. Yeah, there's no uh, sights for it, but I'll use it. Like, I could put any red dot just right on top of it. Oh, it has a red dot. Never mind. I got the red dot. Cool. Yeah, I think if you if you ever needed one, I think Peacekeeper sells one. Yeah, it's the HK MP5 MFI Universal Low Profile Scope Mount. It's 86 bucks from him. Do you have any 30-round mags? I put, put a 30-rounder in it, at least as your main mag. It gave me 40. Okay, I'm stacked up with pretty much everything. I'm ready to go. Cool. I got food, meds are good. I should be good to go too. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Let me put a face cover on. That's what it was.
have the paper you asking me for an order He playing with people money that often ends in a slaughter Alright, so Woods. You do the thirteen thirty-eight. Yep, thirteen thirty-eight. All right, and you, I see you now. All right, I'll I be right back. Right, I'm hitting ready now. All right, chat. I'm gonna take a quick break, but I'll be back by the time this loads, and then we'll see if we can snipe some scavs. So far, so good. Uh, no one's gotten the drop on us. It's been pretty uh, low key. But if you play at peak hours, man, they're all over you. Be right back. All right, here we go, chat. Time to focus up. We be sniping. All right, let's see, we're, we're down by the... Uh... We can either go to the town that we've looted first at Scavs, or we can go to, to the, the ruined church and see what we find there with Scav-wise. We're gonna do both. Uh, either way, we gotta go to the far side of the map to exfil. But go to the fields, me? maybe. Okay. Fields. All right. Like the ones over here by the church. Yeah, let's wrap that side. All right. Woo! Outskirts. Yeah, and we can clear through the bunker too. Yeah, we got outskirts. Yeah, let's go that way. Uh, we're right here at the town, actually, already. Which, let's push into this first house, wait about a minute to make sure the scavs spawn in. Because sometimes, or we just walk up to it, they don't spawn in right away all the time. Yeah. Got my MP7 at the ready. Nice. Red dot eyesight's looking good. 
That peacekeeper, man. <laughs> you guys are here for Hearts of Iron 4. Go to the wild side and go to the church since we're the first ones here for sure. Uh, nah. I don't want to go out there right. and get shot. Okay. There's going to be some more Hearts of Iron we'll 4 contact scans. coming up. I'm going to do Mosley's UK next. Which they can spawn around this first house right here. I just need a little break from Hearts of, of Iron 4. As well as across where we ran into him last time. You see, I hear shots way to our yeah. left. But you only have a Mosin or you have a secondary? I brought the MP7. Let's cross. There is a spawn up here too. MC spawn. Hopefully if they spawn here, they're pushing. I hear, I hear a scab. You need to crest over this hill, see if you can get the first shot at him. It sounded like he was dead ahead. He wasn't like right up on us or anything, but. Oh. Now here he he sees he's like right by the porta potty. Where? I'm on your right, up ahead of you. Right. I don't see him. He's so, shooting me. Okay. He's all you. Push him. I'm pushing him wide right. Okay, I got to heal real quick. All right. He's to the right of the house, where I saw the flashes. There's another one though. Uh, do you do you? Side by the river. Okay, I'm gonna come up behind you. All right, he's on the far side of that cabin, dead ahead of me. I'm still trying to get bleeds under control here. All right, well, hold what we got there. We can slow it down. We got time. I'm coming back to you. You kill the second one, or is he still up? I killed the first one. I left him up, so maybe you can get him. You good, bleed-wise? No. Oh, I'm fractured. What? I don't know what all this means. Oh, there's a scab right near where the last one was. Oh, he's down. You kill him? I, sh I shot. I didn't want to get blasted by okay. him. <laughs> Dude, yeah, you got to really let go with that. That was the first time I fired that weapon. Yeah. I freaking let loose. Unleash the fury. <laughs> it's fun to use. Not the most accurate gun out there, but... Alright, let's touch his body. He's got a shotgun. He's got a level 3 armor shot up, though. <laughs> Thanks, Pedro. MP5 with a red dot. Dr. Disrespect uh, armor, anyone? This guy had it, too. I'm gonna grab it just to have, but... It's not that good. It's only level three. Right. I'm going to reload and top this mag off. Let's push into that house nearby once you're done over here. Let me know when you're good to go and we'll push up. Hacking mags. Okay. I don't know. My vision's all screwed up. I don't know what the problem is. Mm, I didn't bring a splint. I had a splint last time. It's probably the splint. Take some painkillers, but keep an eye on your water. It might be worthwhile if your vision's screwed up. Once you pop the pain pills, it'll fix your vision temporarily for as long as they last. Do you have any? Yeah, I got a car. He's in the car. Oh man, that sucks. I don't know what I'm gonna do here. Here. Pop an ibuprofen. It's right here. And then let's move once you take it. Grenades. 
It wasn't that far away. Go ahead and take that, it'll fix your vision. You need this back? Put it in your secure container, you can keep it. Thanks, man. Those are pretty rare and decently expensive, so... And they have a lot of uses that last a while, so... That's always a good item to have if you find them. Where's the second scav? Wait, never mind. Let's keep uh, an eye here. That sounded like it's off. Let's scav base? Through this scav bunker. No, I think it was off to the left. I could be wrong, but... The hot rod. I'm gonna go into this cabin. I'm watching outside. Okay. Alright, coming out. Okay, well, I got the direction. Way. It's like to the left of the... Ch it's past the church. Alright, let's 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 clear the uh, scab hill over here. That was to our right. That almost sounded like... That sounded like it was dead ahead of, on the other side of the pond over there. Yeah. The, the last one, though, was to the left. So if we hug the edge to the right, maybe we could get to... They'll be to the left of us. Either way. Yeah, go around the far side of the... Uh, go for snipers. Bet you it's up at the scab base. Yeah. Or they're on their way up to it. It could be over at the USEC camps because they're generally that direction too. Yeah, I'm not good enough at detecting the audio to know that or not. And okay, we'll come up here. You want to clear this real quick? Yeah, I think we have to. We can't have someone behind us. I mean, we can blow past it on the right if we stick to the woods. Up to you. Do it. Go through here. All right. I expect contact. I'm going to stay on your left. Okay. That you going through a bush? Yep, yep. All right, it's pretty quiet. I don't see anyone out here. You gonna search here real quick? I'm gonna loot. I'm gonna check this cabin. Nothing here. Some vodka. Oh, uh, you can have it, man. Okay. I got a smoke grenade. I'm not gonna go up top. I know they're gonna be close here. You go to the second floor of that thing? Are you in the, the second floor? No, I'm no, gonna no. snipe towards the other camp. Are you running? Yeah, I'm pushing up behind you. I'm gonna go up here and see what I can see. Oh, One down. Yeah. This thing is a beast. All right, come up here real quick. Repack those mags. It's a pretty good spot. I don't have extra ammo, unfortunately. Oh, okay. How many mags do you have? Two. How many rounds? How many would you need to plus up? I've got 67. Of the MP7 ammo? Yep. Uh, probably like 20. All right. There it is. Right in the doorway. Okay. Here's a car battery if you need it. It's in this bag. And some food. Okay, I'm gonna eat up, drink up. Switching over to the motion to look through the window. Okay, where were these rounds? You said they were out here? Right, right in the doorway. That's oh, one I see bullet. it, I see it. Okay. Thank you. Man, I wonder who was going to town with those grenades. It didn't sound like it was that far off, but they're not clearing up here. Could have I been mean, at camp. Some new, but I mean, you think it's really worthwhile setting off like four grenades? I mean, it's. The only thing I can think of is he either brought a bunch of grenades for fun or he had a grenade launcher, maybe. With that many. You just want to start popping off? Yeah, maybe. 
Maybe just going to town. I don't know. Once you're good, we should clear the other side of the camp. Let's see what's down in that bunker. What are we at time-wise? 28 minutes? There's some shots, but they're ways off on the far side of the map, it sounded like. Yeah. Plus that mag up. I did. I got two mags. I'll get that car All battery. Right. Yeah, it's in the, this uh, duffel bag right here on the bed. Here's the, the tuna if you need more food. Um, it's on this bedside table. Yeah, there was food everywhere. I'm good to go. Thanks. All right. I'll take it. More grenades. What the hell is that? Did someone run into a mine? It could be that too. They could it's be probing the, the line, hitting the mines. All right, let's clear this camp. I'm gonna push up on the right side of the road and approach from that way with the trees in front of us. Okay. Um, we touch scav. Oh, okay, hey, I forgot you shot one there. Well, there's one scav kill for you for sure. I don't know if you got the other two that we ran into. You guys got a toss. Crossing the road. I don't know if I killed that other one. Swing right around this compound. See what we see. You know what? They they're probably hitting the USEC mines. That's yeah, what it that is. Yeah, that could be it too. Because it wasn't that far away from the first. That's that's a sniper shot, not at us or anything. But okay, but that that didn't sound like a scav at all. No, unless it was sniper scav, he can have a motion. It sounded like a motion to me. I'm gonna clear this bunker. You want the flashlight? Staying up here. Yeah, I'm gonna be out the, outside the bunker. Someone shoot me! Very dead. Almost dead. Yeah, there's a scav. I need. I'm gonna heal. Come push down into the bunker if you can. Where was he? By the entrance. I'm staring so at him. He's under the red pillar, the red tower. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, yeah, he's dead. I killed okay. him. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't call that out. I used my whole mag, though. Good thing I had this MP7. I, blasted you. <laughs> I would be I dead saw, uh, had I not had this helmet. MP7. Yeah, it's good to bring it back up if you can, even if it's just a pistol. He has a shotgun. Gotta repair my arm. Right. Then I'll touch the scav. How much more time do we have? 25 minutes. Oh, another scav's coming in. Where, is he on your side? Uh, I think he's past the red cabinet. Not sure. All right, I'll watch the left side if you want to watch the right. Yep, I, I hear him on the left side, where I am. Okay, I'm faced the other way. Shit. Well, I think we're surrounded right now. That's players. He's past the red cabinet. I'm dead. I'm dead. I think it's a player. Yeah. I didn't lean peek properly, and then he caught my arm out or something. I don't know. I was Man, pretty I banged up. I, saw, I thought I heard movement on that side, but then that scav came out at like the least opportune time <laughs> on the other side. Did they shoot the scav? Like I saw no, tracer I, I rounds. Killed the scav. I killed him, but. Man, that was like the perfect timing for that guy to walk up on us. I got three scav kills. Does that count, even though I died? Yeah, it will. Oh, man, that sucked. I had the car battery. I was just like a overweight. Yeah. And he heard us. He heard me shoot the one scav, and he was over there doing whatever with grenades. He had like one of those, uh, you know, uh, excl red exclamation marks by his name. So, mm -hmm. But he was juiced up. Yeah, yeah he killed me with 5.56. Five, so he had some sort of either M4 or, or something. It was silenced. I think it was an M7, MP7.
All right, well, the good news is I'm clearing out space in my my stash for sure. That was rough. I got hit with buckshot in the head. M eight five six A one. As soon as he started shooting, I just dropped like a sack of potatoes. So the buckshot was probably the scab, because M eight five six A one was what killed me as well, which is what he had. That's like um, one of the best ammo's in the game, right? Yeah. It, or uh, five five A one is five six A one's a little bit better than M eight five five in this game. It's a, it's a tracer round though, so. Um, how are you on guns? You yet still have plenty? Because I've got that AK-74 if you want. I, yeah, I got plenty of guns. I gotta use, uh, the Echo Rounds. What is it? The v VPO? With the Echo Rounds. I got two of those I gotta use. Okay. I'm gonna bring, I have another extra Mosin just to maybe work on my sniper skill if I remember to. I'm going to burn it and then uh, bring a pistol. Get with the gratch. Actually, you know what? I got this PP-19 that's been sitting in my stash since the beginning of the wipe. I used one of them, but never used this one. I'm going to use it just to get it out of the way because it's eating up space. I'm going to change the optic out. Ready for a nice, like, budget run or something. What do you have armor-wise? You got... That's a level 4 right there. Is it in good shape? Yeah. Nice. All right, I need to... I'm going to put a red dot on this PP-19. I think I have an extra one sitting around somewhere. I'm gonna get the Aimpoint Mini. And then I'm gonna put an actual a foregrip and stuff on this one. I forgot to on that customs run. Sucks I can't buy a stock for this chat. Gas tube handguard. Yeah, I'm using an AK MSN. I have no idea what that is. I'm sure pretty bad. It's the, uh, the old school paratrooper version of the AK 47 with the underfolder buttstock. That's why I couldn't fold the stock. Okay. Yeah. If you have or anything I on the change. side rail, it won't let you fold it, I think. Or... No, I couldn't. It, um, might, it might let you. I couldn't change out the stock. I was attempting to change it out. Okay. Pause the flashlight on here. All right, my PP-19 is good. I just need to make sure I have the uh, mags for it. Yeah, I don't know if you want to, like, mob in factory, do that um, run that you need. We can try it. It's going to be a fast pace for sure. Have you done factory? Yep. I want to learn it, though. I know it's going to be rough. That's for sure. All right. Let me see if I have any more cheap helmets to burn. The pillbox?
I'll put this lo little level three on. All right, if we're going there, I'm gonna ditch the food and water in my secure container and then put the toolkit that I need. And I need to grab more pain pills. So in factory, I generally don't put any of my meds to where people can loot them because you'll tend to die more often, you know? Um, unless I just have a whole bunch of them. Right, any magazines. Yeah, I fully expect not to live that long, but <laughs> I'd like to try. Maybe we could camp out somewhere. If you survive the initial spawn point, then you tend to survive factory. It's kind of a crapshoot. It's a bit better 50-50 if, if you're going to make it out or not. Let me put this motion away if that's where we're going. Could we scav in factory real quick just to get used to it? Yeah, yeah. Um, are you ready? I'll switch over. Yeah, I'm ready to up. Not as many people looking for groups right now. Dude, my scav looks kind of like a PMC, except he doesn't have a helmet. Rocking a Sega. Nice. Mine's got a double barrel shotgun and a like arcade mask on. All right, so you're doing the 15 and 28. Yep. All right, I sent you the invite. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. No, you're good. I don't know where you spawned, but I'm over 
It didn't spawn us together on this one. I'm down You're below. Down You're in the, the bottom tunnels? Yeah, there's a guy up top popping off. Yeah, Sounds I'm, like I'm a down PMC. in the tunnels now. I'll see if I can find oh, I see you. you. I see you. There? Yep, yeah. yep. All right, come on. I'll see. I'll show you where I got to go for this quest. Where'd you go, man? Oh, sorry. Uh, right there. Okay, he's right on to our uh, left. Yeah. I think they're in the, uh, the multi, so I took a ride through this hallway. There's some loot stuff here. Dead scavs, watch it. Some guys coming down through here? Or he's up top running? You might just be hunting scavs. I agree. He's on metal up top, right above us, maybe. Alright, um. Is that you moving? That's me. All right, come around here once, once you searched him. I hear some people talking. Chicky bricky, pipe squeaking. Sounds like it's close. Oh, my, my bad, bad man. man. Why are you? Okay. <laughs> Wasn't me. Sorry, it was my friend. Is there PMCs? Just a dead one. There was two PMCs fighting at gate three, but I ran away. I didn't want to deal with it. I don't know if they're still in though. There's three of us now. You guys, you guys want to clear, clear the, the, uh, the, the multi-story? Multi the office? Yeah. I don't know if this guy's down. I think he ran away, yeah? Oh, uh, yeah. I see a scav on the far side. Actually... This might be a PMC. I didn't see. I don't see him right now, but it, someone went into that doorway. Let's. Um... This uh, crate. It was that was stacked. I got two soaps. I got everything. Nice. Do you want to get out? Yeah. We go down. Back down. Yeah, we can go back down. I mean, I kind of wanted contact, but. I don't. I don't like coming here as a scab, just because the chances of blasting a scab are a lot higher. I almost shot that one. Yeah. This is dead boss. Oh, there's Tagila. He's probably stripped naked. This is the boss. Did that just happen? Uh, I hear footsteps. Probably above us. Indeed. Yeah. Let's go up this way. We got a camera bunker door though, right? Down here someplace. Office window. Let's go to office window. Our chance of finding loot's better up there. We got yeah. time. So this is where I need to go for my quest when I'm the PMC. This area. Let's go through here. We can check some jackets. So this flashing thing right here, I need to sit here for like 30 seconds and hold the toolkit on it. Gotcha. And then there's one in this hallway right over here too. Check these jackets. I'll check the, the brown one. Nothing. I'm gonna check this hallway here. And then that flashing box in that hallway, I need to come to do as well. Gotcha. I'm at the end of the hallway. All right, just go out to the left, and we'll go up to, uh, let's clear office. Go out, well, sorry, don't go left all the way that hard. But the main PMC exfil's right here. Let's see if we see any bodies. There's a, uh, a massacre over here. Yeah, it, yeah, sounded, it sounded a little. Good. I'll take it. We got plenty of time. Yeah. Is that guy talking? Die, scab. Okay. All 
All right, let's go up into the office. Drop a gun over here someplace? Yeah, I dropped my double barrel. God, I can barely see. Let me check this first office here. Love checking the stairwells for dead people. Okay. Right behind you. Alright. I'm gonna check the opposite stairwell. I got a shotgun so I can run point. Alright, go ahead and go up that stairwell on that far side. Hold up, I'm checking toolbox here. Alright. Right you. The door to the showers is closed. Go ahead and go in there. Scab. No, it's not. There's no one here. Only six PMCs. I thought we saw maybe two or three. Yeah, which the other one probably got out by now. There can be some spawns inside this locker area, like in the actual lockers, loose on the ground, or like in tucked into the shelves. I haven't seen anything yet, though. I can't see anything in general. <laughs> so, yeah. Not gonna work for me. Scav is down below. We're good. Alright. <clears throat> I think there might be a box out there. Got my med tools. Alright. There's a scab at the end of the hallway. Let's check this office. Actually, let's kick this door open. Sometimes there can be... There's a quest where you have to come and grab something out of this drawer, but if you're a PMC, eventually. I'm gonna check over here if there's dead bodies. Air well clear. I'm searching these jackets behind the door. Oh, no dead bodies in here, huh? Yeah. Go ahead and check each of those drawers and see if there's anything. Nope. And then Nothing. our X pills just over here by the windows. Yeah, I'm ready to go. Ready for like one or two good raids. Yeah. And then I'm gonna call it a day. Yeah, I'll need to here soon as well. Alright, let me put this stuff away. Actually, you know what? I might just run these scav guns that I got. If we're, you want to do a factory run? Yeah, I could. What about a Sega with slug ammo? Does that sound good at all? Yeah, I mean, that, the slug should be fine. Um, how many magazines do you have? Three. Yeah, you ought to be fine. Just bring some extra so you can top them up because I think if they're, if they're the five rounders, they run out fast. Okay. Go there. Never mind. I'm just gonna run the AK. It's ready to go. I complicate it. The situation. All right. So I'm hoping we'll get a spawn on uh, the side where those things were that I was showing you that I need to plant on. So you can spawn right in that same room. It's a hot spot though, because people spawn at the end of that, that long hallway. Yeah, I'll have your back for this. So, see how we do. Let me make sure. I right, have PP19. Let me put this backpack on. Do I roll the dice and spend 20 or 30 grand for an extra toolkit that I can't hide? And I can do both on this one potentially? I might. 
I got plenty of money. 42 grand for a toolkit. Three forty. I'm trying to buy one that's not sold out on the flea market. All right, I got one. Yeah, I'm ready to roll. All right. Do you have a flashlight? We could do a nighttime one. I don't. Taking like the day. Chances of surviving. Okay, let me go to the day. And ensure these mags, because I can't get them otherwise. Oh yeah, the thirty rounders. It was twenty. For you. It was twenty-seven k. We probably made probably made like fifty the last round, so I don't think it should be too bad. Yeah. Okay, time to play fast. If we spawn over by those, the things I need, hold the we'll hold the hallway and the doorway to the left. And on this time, if, if it's moving, shoot it. <laughs> yeah, that's going to make it a little easier. Unless it's you. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go for headshots. And then we can get out before the scavs. We're just like yeah. waiting office office for the scavs to come up there, then shoot them. I don't know. We could. I'd say if we survive the initial onslaught and finish this task, then we just push the exfil because you don't need to stay in this one as long for it to be a run through. Plus, oh. it, when it comes to XPs, I don't know. We we we'll, we'll play better. We what's might. what's the magic number for the run through? For full size maps, I think it's seven minutes. Seven minutes and one second for it not to be a run through. And then for this one, I think it's like five. Yeah, I learned that last night. I spent like two rounds running through Shoreline, and that's where I was having all the problems. Yeah. Like running into just like everyone. No one was going up to the spa, every, the resort. Everyone was like, I don't know, all over me. Find them in the woods. Yeah, just, it, it can be like that sometimes <clears throat> on that map. Mainly on the road next to that power station and the you know where you have to cross where the the boat is it's yeah. crazy yeah okay here we go oh boy wish me luck we'll see how this works all right here goes nothing nothing to lose here i, I got nothing good <laughs> that i'm gonna give up here and even pre-med. All right, make sure I'm on full auto. Oh, we very, are the spawn that I wanted. Very uncharacteristic of you. Oh, well, this map. There might be someone down the hallway, maybe. I'm looking, I'm I don't go and, see anything. I'm go and plant, cover that hallway. I'll cover the it? left side. I got 15 seconds left on planting this. Someone might not have spawned there. If, if 
We don't have any contact. I'm going to go straight into that hallway and plant there, too, just to get it out of the way. Yeah, I see the red dot. Yeah. All right, well, cover me. All right, I'll pick up the hallway. You cover left right over here, this the doorway. Sounds good. All right, I'm 18 seconds. Okay. You need to exfil? No, no, I just need to put him down so we can go fight to our deaths or, or survive once okay. I'm planted. Six seconds left. Sellers. I'll come back to you once I get it planted. It's gate three, gate zero, sellers, med tent gate. All right, we're good. So I'm coming back to you. All right, I hear you. There's someone across someplace. I couldn't tell. Let's check these jackets. You going to hold that? I'm holding. Let's say we push the way you're looking. Sounds good. If they're close, they know I'm here. Metal parts. You need metal parts? Yeah. Good. Okay. All right. Let's pick up and go this way. It's super quiet. Maybe they're here just questing or they're just camping. Camping. I'm going to go tack light on. I hear footsteps. Watch behind us. Behind us. I'm on the door. All right. Right outside, I'm sure. If you want to hold that, I can come around and see if I can get him from the side. Okay. Right. I hear him walking. I'm, I'm walking right now. Unless he's closer to you. There's two sets of footsteps. I'm running. He's right outside I'm a red door. The, I'm coming to the red door. Okay. I hear footsteps down that ramp. Come out, red door. Okay. I think it might be a scab down there. You gonna clear it? Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead. Here we go. I'll look uh, right first. Just let me work. All right, I'll, you you pie it right. I'll pie it left. Go for it. PMC down. PMC. There's more. I'm bleeding. Let me stop this bleeding. Hold what you got there. There's scabs. I blacked out my stomach. Take his guns and let's get out of here. I'll cover you. We'll push straight to Xville. Got Nadar. Do you have a backpack on? I'll take his if, if you do. Yeah, just pick it up. You're good. Pick it up. Actually, hold on. Cover me. I'm gonna use. The, I'm gonna get my guy to shut up. surgery take your time no no big deal i really need him to shut up so i can hear this scab up top all right i'm good enough let me get his bag Push the exfil. Yeah, yeah. All right, take it. Go back up the ramp we came down. We're gonna go across the far side. Ride that wall to exfil. Some guy just died. I think it was the scav. This door on the far side's the extract. Sounds like they're up an ops. Maybe we can beat him too. Okay. Push on that noise. We're good. Kill another scav. Oh, I got oh, shit. Shit. Left side. Oh. Uh, 
Where was he? Down low or up high? I, I, I didn't see him, but I just know the shot came from the left. He was just sitting out there. I think down low. Oh, dude. Wait, I got stuck in that corner. I got to remember not to go there. That leveled me up. I only needed 60 XP. Oh, well, I got a PMC a... kill. Yeah. Oh, I, I didn't keep the, the dog tag in the, the case. Shoot. Well, I completed that quest. Let me turn that quest in. I hate that quest because it takes thirty, tw like twenty-four seconds to plant on each of them. Yeah, tell me if you completed that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. If we didn't, I just need to extract, which I can do whenever. But I don't. I know I don't need to replant. So I turned the corner. The guy was just standing there in the middle of nowhere. Like I was like, what? He's just staring at me, and I started stomach shotting him, and then I picked him again, shot him right in the head. Yeah, so it, kept, it saved the progress, but I just need to survive and extract from factory to complete it. Oh, okay. Well, let's go back again. All right, I'll run a shotgun that I got off the last run. I'll run, um, yeah, I'll just run a shotgun. It'll be easy. Cheap. We'll do one more. Hopefully we extract. That guy was camping that, so... Do you know where down below we could extra extract? Yeah, actually, I mean, we could do it really easy if I brought the... Let me bring the key for it. I've got the key for the uh, downstairs one. Yeah, just keep it in your pouch or something? Uh, you can use it actually downstairs, and then there's two on the very opposite sides, the far sides. I've got another quest I can do here if we spawn on that far side, away from where we just were. Um, I've got to take a letter out of a dead body and extract with it. So I got the factory key. Let's see. I'm actually going to put a med somewhere I can get to it. I'll paint painkillers for sure. Cheap ones. And then a cheese. I'll keep my IFAC in my kit for if I if I really get messed up and don't die. Are you running armor this time or no? Really bad armor, I guess. Yeah. Let me see. Like a level two. I think I have a propane tank. I might trade for a level three. I might go yeah. without the backpack this time yeah i mean if you have a decent sized rig that you can carry at least a few things it's, it's, it should be okay all right let me put a, a mask on I got Magnum Buckshot, which if you ever find Magnum Buckshot, the red ones, um, they're probably your best Buckshot round that you can get. Uh, uh, either that or full shit. Um, Wait, are slugs better than 7mm? Slugs will probably be better than that, but then the 7mm Buckshot, if they have any armor on at all, even like level 1, then you, probably, you won't penetrate it, at least in the first hit. Uh, Magnum penetrates, I think, 2 maybe three but magnum does a ton of damage so slugs slugs will be probably your best bet if all you have is the standard ammo okay ready to go I might, i'm gonna roll without a backpack too i don't really care i just want to try to extract don't care too much about loot if we kill someone maybe we can take a backpack off them Same. Let's go for kills first. Well, quest first, kill second. Yeah. Not going to be able to hold any uh, long angles. Yeah, me neither. So, so let's, let's get moving then, I guess, you know? Yeah. Keep the feet moving. Okay, I 15. don't see you on it. Did you do the 15? There you are.
said you were already in a group. Oh. I misclicked try to, try something. To send me one. There we go. I misclicked and formed a group with no one in it. Okay. I'll invite you to mine. All right, chat. It, it Last saying, round here. Just ban mine. And then now, can you click on me? There we go. I went helmetless. Dude, I have a level two armor. If anyone touches me, I'm going to go straight down. <laughs> yeah, you'll be good against some shotguns, but it seems like most people are using the flechette rounds, which will probably even really go through my armor too. So might have just wasted the level three. Yeah, I thought that guy standing in the hallway was just like spawned in, but he shot at us. Well, he, yeah. he hit you a lot. Yeah, he, he blacked out my stomach. I don't know what he shot me with. What gun did he have? I don't even remember. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, he had some like weird, like if some sort of advanced gun that I didn't, I'd never seen. Yeah, I saw some sort of like M4 style stock or something, but you can put them on AKs as well if you have the right uh, attachments. No, so he had Stanag mags, so he had some sort of M4. Yeah. That would have been a big come up if I had been able to take that out. Yeah, but we should have gone a little bit slower to get to that door. I, I was rushing it, trying to run and get it. but That corner there is death. Yeah. It's stuck. We no, both I guess, got, I got stuck. I got the key, though, so let's avoid that exfil no matter what and take any of the, the three ones you need the key for. Behind med tent, you can use the key there. On the opposite side of that open area, you can use the key there and then one in the basement. So. Okay, here we go. Well, we'll try to tactically move up and move up stepwise, check all the corners. Yeah, this is going to be my last one. Okay. I mean, we could run it back. If this is really quick, I could run it back. All right. We got to make space, man. That's what it's all about. <laughs> For sure. All right, here we go. All right. I think we're the same spawn as last time. I'm going to hold the hallway. And drink a little bit. And Door, then... Footsteps to the right or left of me. Okay. I'm getting shot the from hallway. somewhere. I'm blacked out. Hold what you got there. We got footsteps left. Flashbang to the left. Okay, I got a med up. All right, I'll cover you. Maybe it'll lower him this way. I don't know how he shot me. He shot me in the thorax. Maybe it was an aide, I don't know. I didn't see him. I looked in the hallway, I fired a random shot. Who's that? That's me. I just pulled my arm, stamina it too long. I think it's a scab over there. Could be wrong, but... Is that you throwing a frag? Nope, that was him. Someone else is shooting at him, maybe? I don't know. I thought that was PMCs, you though. Healing? You still healing yourself over there? Yeah, just give me a second. We're almost good. Okay. Yeah, you pushing? Nope, I got it covered. I'm watching left still. Yeah, I'm back up. I'm holding this. It's coming around the left side. 
Big boy, big boy, hit him once. Big boy, you should get an Way angle. Uh, he's down the stairs. You're a piece of shit. You gonna med up? I hear him walking down below. Gonna pack a mag. All right. I must have just grazed him. I fired at him as well, but he's got some heavy armor. We're not gonna do much with these shotguns. You gonna try to get a survive and push the med tent? I don't know if we can do much to this guy unless we're blasting him in the legs. Yeah, hold that. I'm gonna check jackets. All right. Uh, you call the shots, you run point. Alright, once you're done, just follow me out this way. I feel like he's probably waiting in the hallway. I hear footsteps. Alright, follow me. But that scav was close. Yeah, I think he's out this way. Yep. Are you with me? Yeah, I'm with you. Two dead here. He's over here, he's over here, he's over here! Help, help, help! Come my way, come my way! I'm flashed out. I can't see anything. Don't move, don't move. I killed him. Good job, man. I shot him I a couple blocking. times, maybe. Whew. I ran I out. Stop my bleeding. Oh no. Um, I have uh, light bandages on my body, in Are my pockets, good? in my pockets. Whew. That'll get. That'll wake you up in the morning. Scabs are coming. He absorbed. Pill. I'm going to try to get extract on this. He absorbed almost all of the, the shot. I hit him twice. He absorbed 166. Yeah, you screwed him up bad, though, because I killed him in like two shots. I, I was flashbanged, but I could see good enough to hit him. <laughs> he freaking opened I got the to door. The to exfil. I stole his armor, which is like level five or six, and his helmet as well. <laughs> and so, one of his shotguns. So we saw two dead bodies. There's one other guy. That's it. I got out of there. I wanted to get the exfil that I needed. Dude, you I didn't see, you guy. didn't scav him or anything? Or scavenge him? No, I, I, I took his stuff. I took his armor and his helmet and one of his shotguns. There was two other dead bodies, though. Yeah. I, I wanted to. I, I hate factory, especially. I was already blacked out stomach and legs, so I wanted to get out of there and get, get the win. Okay, so what's a 23 by 75 shrapnel 10 buckshot? Yeah, he was using, uh, I forget the name of the shotgun. It's a Russian shotgun. It's really big. It's bigger than a 12 gauge. Freaking Magnum, too. He had, maybe had a Magnum round, or maybe he shot me. <laughs> yeah, he had armor that covered his arms, too. I took a big backpack from him as well. I can't buy it. Like, it's a higher level backpack. So when I was flashed, did I back up into you? You almost did. I thought it was you when I, could, when I finally got to where I could see. But it was him. I think he was reloading his shotgun after he dumped you. You know, <sighs> I didn't pick up his helmet. I thought I did, but I didn't examine it. But I grabbed his giant backpack and his armor. Switch over. Look, look at this armor I got off him. If you can see my. Oh, yeah. The one that, uh, that covers your crotch. Yep. The crotch yeah, armor. Stomach, and then also it covers arms, too, with that. And then I got this giant backpack off him. Dude, that thing, when I saw that guy run across with that thing, I was like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> like, <laughs> this guy is way too excited about this run. Yeah. It's just the hey, worst man, thing. Now. It's like super bright, though. Like yellow. Yeah, with the flashbang or the backpack. It's multi cam, uh, but it's it is very bright. The the backpack it's like it's faded. Yeah. It was more like a woods type situation if you had like dry grass, but like not a factory situation. Yeah, I think he was just looking for the space. Uh, he probably went into there with that kit thinking he'd just wipe wipe it clean. And he almost did. Let me turn that quest in. Cool. That was fun. Most important part. 
<laughs> yeah, factory gets the adrenaline going fast. Because you know you're going to run into people. I've got one more VPO I could try. If you're down for it. Yeah, let me... I don't know if I want to run this armor, though. It's heavy. 17 kilograms. I don't know how many pounds it is, but it's... It's got to be probably 40, 50 pounds without anything on it. I think I might just sell it. I tend not to juggernaut too much. 103k off it, though. That was juggernaut for sure. Alright, so... How many scab kills did you get on woods? Did you want to go back to... The factory, or do you want to do another run somewhere else? Well, I got one more quick one in me, so I'd rather just go back to factory. Okay, I'll keep the same shotgun. Um, I need to. My guy's actually kind of thirsty. Where did I put those? I'll key that to zero and just hit it right when I spawn in. Oh, I lost all my mags. Can't run this. Do you have any shotguns? I their quest, quest. To, oh, I got the MP5. Yeah, we could get rid of that. Okay. This guy had five flechette rounds left. I don't know if I want to run his shotgun or just sell it. I'll definitely run the flechette jet rounds though for the first few shots. I'm topping off. My first five blasts are going to be Full of shit. And then after that, it's Magnum Buckshot. Well, I'm going to have a little more range, but that's about it. I dropped my level three when I picked his up, and uh, I think I might just buy a Paka to run. Or do I go naked? What do you think? Uh... I armor, mean, with well, both of us, we definitely have a leg up. I said I might roll without the armor. It could be my coup de grace, but I'll try it out. I don't want to bring this backpack, though. Let me see how big it is. I'm running a pack of MP5 and a prayer. <laughs> All right. Get back in there. Run one of these scab backpacks real quick. The adrenaline rush. I got man, he just maybe burned through that med the meds I brought. Yeah, I'm gonna run a, a scab backpack as well. Not bad. I traded a bar of soap for it. <laughs> Which one was that? The uh Uh, I've got the sack backpack from Jaeger. Okay, yeah, a little six slot one. Okay, I'm ready to go. All right, factory daytime. Last one right here, huh? Yep. All right, sent you the invite. All right. Man, hopefully we don't run into a juggernaut this time.
Usually it's people doing like pistol runs a lot of times to get the because you need three pistol kills. That's what that's what I'm hoping we run into. He ran across because we're I was sitting there medding up. I thought he would have heard me. And I shot him in the legs a little bit, I think. Which you you weakened him enough that he took some damage and then I, I was shooting kind of just center mass because I couldn't really see with the flashbang. And I must have been hitting him in the arms because I wasn't the armor that I took off and wasn't that damaged. It was good enough to sell for a lot of money. Yeah, I hit him twice, but you know, he probably killed those other two PMCs over there. So yeah. they probably shot him up a little bit too. Yeah. We caught him at the right time. Dude, I can't even believe I can see at all with factory with sunglasses on. <laughs> yeah, you need to get some clear lenses. Well, when I play out of raid, I feel a lot lazier than playing with you in raid or while I'm on stream. Yeah. But uh, when I take these glasses off and I'm just like relaxed, I don't, it's too relaxing. I feel like I'm more on edge when I'm streaming. I'm more alert. Yeah. Because it's like someone's going to see if, you know, I get completely shrecked. <laughs> I think I'm at level 19. I might have unlocked another trader at level two, level two trader. I don't know. It's either 19 or 20. All right, here we go. Should be starting soon. Well, I got a PMC kill. You got a PMC kill. We're killing folks. Good. Yeah. I could get some scav kills in here too. That would be nice. Yeah, you just got to really, this one comes down to surviving the initial PMC onslaught. And if you come out on top and you're not too messed up, then you can get the whole map to yourself almost. I think we're at the same spawn again. I'm going to cover the hallway. Okay. In the same spot. I'm watching left. I'm watching left. Next to the thing. I'm watching left as well. Someone's running out there to the left. I'm going to go and drink this water so I'm not wasting it. Tell me when you're done and I'm going to drink out. All right. You're good. Sound like that guy ran the opposite way. He might be questing or just looking to away from us. Are you good? Good. You gonna search the jackets? Yeah. Uh, let me look at the long hallway. All right. I don't see anything. I don't see anything. Okay. MP5 feels pretty good, actually. Yeah, it has a high ergonomics, so you should be able to aim down sights pretty fast. Are right, you good? Good. Let's go ahead and just clear around this outside edge. Holding behind, oh, behind us. Behind me? Behind you. I'm going to push up. I just want to make sure those were your footsteps. All right. If we hang a left here, it'll take us in med tent. And just ride the wall to the left. Okay. Right. Get some loot. Are you to the left? Yeah. Here's scavs. That scav saw. He's yeah. up on the stairs far. Okay. Okay. Staircase. I don't have a good angle. I don't see him. I don't see range. him. Someone oh, close. No, no, no. Scav close. Right. That was a PMC. Hey, are you okay? I'm fine. He's dead. Someone's shooting at me. Who the hell is that? Holy mackerel. 
That was me blasting. I'm reloading. I'm completely empty. Someone used this exit, or they're in it. The door's open. There's another one. He's up top. He's coming around. I'm going to tap him. All right. Good. He's still up. He's up top. I got hit. Are you, are you alive still? I'm alive. I'm alive. All right. I'm going to med up. He's right above. Right above. You can see him out the med tent, maybe. Nah. The second staircase still? Him. Dude, they just get bedded down in there. He's dead, and then... he's dead. Yeah, I, I gotta pack mags and heal. Alright, I'm on that far wall by the ramp. Far side of med tent. You can come to me and pack mags. I'm gonna stay here. Sorry, man. I don't All think right, I can level, move. If you wanna cover me, I'm gonna see if I can get that quest, which is right past that, that wall, past the second stairs on the first floor. You gonna cover me while I run and grab it real quick? Um, hold up, hold up. Let's reset. Play nice and patient. I need to med up. Okay, go ahead and med up. I got 19 shotgun shells left. I also have to do this PMC real quick. If you want to push out over here next to the blue, that's the other All reason. Right, I'm coming to you. I'm coming to you. Okay. Packing. This is a scab right here. Another scab saw me. Staircase. He's dead. How much time we got? 15 minutes. Scabs are gonna be coming in soon. Okay, I'm gonna pack it and then we go after I loot. Is that you? Yeah, I'm coming to you. Okay. Where's that PMC? Oh, that's a scab over there. We can go out this door behind med tent. I just want to grab that letter while we're over here on this side. This is Pretty a scav good. right here? Yeah. Oh man, I cannot tell which ones are the scavs. I say we push, we go to where I need to, and then uh, there's an exfil on that far side beyond it. Okay, let's the key do that it. I got. All right, ready? Just let me know when you're on me. You good? Just changing out a mag. Okay. All right, come on. On you. To the yeah, right. Ahead. I'm bleeding, but not bad. He's down. All right, I'm pushing past him. Yeah, I'm not gonna loot the scabs pushing yet. Pushing into this doorway. Okay. All right, I got my letter. I'm healing myself, stopping the bleed at least. All right, I'm ready to get out of here with this letter I got. Whenever you are. The scab player scabs are definitely in by now. Okay, let's book it. Are right, you ready? You back to med tent? Um, head towards that. Yep. Yeah, let's go to med tent. Oh. Watch the ramp. Okay. The scab yeah, down. Play. Push to this far door. Past med tent. All right, I'm opening the door cover behind us. Will do. All right, we're good. Just come to this far wall. Good job, man. <laughs> There's a lot of scabs. It's fun. Yeah. Not many players. I don't know where the players were, but definitely ran into some scabs on them. <laughs> I thought that was a PMC. I was like, why is this guy so goofy? <laughs> it's not a PMC. Yeah, the scabs will chase the gunshots. So, like, they hear you shooting on one side. I got three. How many did you get on that one? Uh, I forgot to stand in the correct location. <laughs> okay. I'm coming. <laughs> yeah, if there's a lot of shooting the scabs, especially when the factory will push to where it is. So. You might even think it's a player pushing you, but a lot of times it's a scab. I got blacked out my arm, that one, that last one that you killed with his, uh, he had an AK.
Or an SKS, one of the two. I, I thought he point. was to the right more, and you're like straight ahead. I'm like, oh, shit. Like, I didn't know where this guy is at all. Yeah, I hit him with buckshot once, and then he hit me, and I just kept pushing left around the, the rock pile. I think, yeah, the, the second one I got a headshot on him. I'm aiming for the chest, working up to the head, you know? Yeah, if you full auto with AKs, that's, that works out pretty well. The MP5 felt pretty good, I mean... Oh, that was you were you had the MP5 on that one. I forgot. I just like completely unleashing, you know, and yeah. you could easily do that and doesn't move that much compared to the AK. Yeah, yeah, the nine mil, any of the submachine guns are a lot more controllable on full auto. And a lot of times you really have to use full auto with them because the rounds don't pack as much of a punch. Well, it's one survive did we survive two together no you i died you, you x filled the then we both died and then we ran into the juggernaut i made it out you didn't and then that one we got both that's not bad yeah it's it's, it's kind of a 50 50 shot when it comes to uh factory on whether you're gonna make it out or not i think i lost one level four armor one level two and the rest of the kit was just free stuff oh yeah. i helmets and but i i insured the helmets and the ears so it should come back to me yeah hopefully no one no one found them or anything i mean if anything it was xp and uh that's fine yeah what level are you at now uh i thought it was seven yeah level seven survived 11 times kia 11 times we did postman pat What's that? Uh, the quest postman pat was the one I just did. We had to grab a letter off the dead guy in that one room I went into at the end. Oh, cool. So that one's complete. Let me see what that puts me at. I'm about a quarter of the way to 20. Once I hit 20, mechanic will be level 2 for me. Not bad, this MP133 made it through three raids on Factory. One off the one that I picked it up from, and then uh, the two that I survived with. I don't generally use it. If I'm using a shotgun, I'll usually get the semi-auto, but the pump action wasn't that bad. It's not that slow. Wait, so we didn't kill any scavs that last round? Or on PMCs? Yeah, you, like, you had, no, no PMCs. Oh, uh, okay. They, they, they were all probably pushing to office or doing objectives. Yeah, it was quiet. Which, I mean, I don't know what they were doing because the objectives would generally be on that hallway and the room we spawned in, the ones that I just did. I mean, there can be some up in, in the third floor of the office and then Postman Pat, but there was no dead scabs around where Postman Pat was because we went there other than the ones we killed. So, I have no idea where they went. Probably just camp in the office waiting for us. Hoping we'd go that way. Because there is a, a Jaeger quest that you need to kill six PMCs on any floor of the office. Which I think I have three of them. Oh, any of the... Okay, in those... That three level. In the office area, yeah. Oh, okay. So, a lot of people bum rush that. So I hope they can get the kills for that. And the end, because there's good loot up there with the, the uh, safe and those uh, chip drawers and stuff. A couple jackets. Well, I got a VPO out of that. Nice. And next time we play again, if you want, I'll give you this AK-74 if you get enough space for it. So if you can burn through any 540. I don't know if you have 545, but you can burn through it. Um... It'll have a little bit less recoil than the AK-47s or AKMs and stuff. Because it has a smaller round. Actually, I bought an AK-105 in real life. I'd never owned a, a 545 by 39 AK. Until about six months ago. And uh, the recoil is almost non-existent. 
and uh, that's coming from a guy that shot plenty of 5.56 in his day. It's uh, it's almost got less recoil than a like an AR or M4. It's it's an interesting recoil pattern. It's kind of comes straight back to you. What? Uh, so it's um. What's the round for the AK-74U then? The it's, same? It's, they're all 545 by 39, yeah. Okay. Any of the 74 series and then, then the 10, um, the AK-104, uh, no, the AK-74M is the full size and the AK-105 is the short. So all the 74s and the U's and then AK-105 will all be 545. Which one would you prefer to shoot in real life? Uh, it depends on the price of ammo. Ammo's super high now. Um, I, I so I own a full size AK-47. Then I have an AK-104, which is a short 7.62 by 39, like the M4 in the Russian world kind of, but in that caliber in the AK-105. And I have a nine mil AK. Um, yeah, generally whatever's cheapest. I used to shoot all the time because I, I have some land that I, I bought a house on. Where I can just go out back and shoot, but uh, ammo has gone up super high, especially on Russian calibers, because there's importation bans um, from where they were a few years ago. Really? I, I bought, I Why do they thousand... ban the import? That's weird. Uh, it happened back in like 2014. So like before, the 545 that's PS in this game, that's 7N6. It's the official like designation for it that you see on the, the boxes. Um, you could get a 1080 round crate of 7N6 here in the US for like 80 bucks back in like 2010. And then the importation band kicked in around 14 or 15. And now, like, I bought a thousand rounds of 545. It wasn't even 7N6, which 7N6 is like the Russian army's ammo, their older stuff. So I bought a thousand rounds of civilian FMJ for, I think it was $450 a few months ago. So it's, it's, it's gone up crazy high compared to what it used to be. Well, I got that ration. I'll probably I'll maybe film that video tomorrow. And then I don't know how I'm going to do it. It's been messing with me. Like I am a little freaked out by like eating like Russian food that I'm obviously not used to. Like I might get like really sick. Do you know what what meal package it is? Does it say, or is it, I guess it's all probably in Russian soon without having to Google translate it or something. It just looks like the Iskra. Let me see the guy. I just talked to him. He's like, ah, oh, it arrived. Like, yeah, thanks. He gave me a like picture. In, like in this one, the uh, MR, like the US MRE is marinara and meatballs. You can see it on the front. But there's like, if you get a case of MREs, they come with like 24 different flavors or 12 different flavors. Um, so I want it's probably the same where they have variations. Like in like meal plans, if you will. You'd think, but <laughs> it might not be. It, it, we're talking about Russia here too, so. <laughs> I don't, I've never seen. So it's oh yeah, there it is because it says option number one: army biscuits, buckwheat, barley porridge with beef. So that's your tashanka. Nice. Stewed potatoes with beef meat. That actually that might be money. Yeah. Um. Canned meat and vegetables, snack bars. Man, that comes with a lot. That that comes with like twice as much as a US MRE. If it has all that like three different meats in it. That's so, pretty cool. You have, you also let me know how the Tishanka tastes. I've always wondered. Because it I'm looks gonna, nasty if you watch them eat it in game. I'm gonna I'm gonna heat it up on it comes with a stove. They don't have the heating nice. element in these. Yeah. So I think you actually have like tablets that you have to light up. I'll show you on the video. You'll see it on my channel. Yeah, I'll check it out. That'd be cool. 
Dude, it's 3,700 calories. This has got to be like the only... If I eat the whole thing, this has got to be the only thing I eat the whole day. Yeah, so that's... The normal MREs that you see in here for the US ones, those are just like 800 calories. But there's also... They call them the Warfighter MREs, and they're like a full day's worth of calories. So that's nice. probably what it is. I've seen that. That's How much did that one run you? I'd be um, curious to here, see what let me show like. you. Okay, so it was 60 plus shipping. Um, I think it was somewhere around 70 because it was yeah. fairly stout packaging. But um, yeah, the guy gave me the list and everything, and uh, it was pretty legit, but you're just dealing with him directly. Uh, yeah. So I can, if you want it, just uh, DM me, and I'll DM you. On Discord, his uh, his information. You can yeah, contact him out. on Discord. So it where's was it, legit. What, where's it shipping from? Uh, back east. So if you're back east, you should be good to go. Okay. I think he's yeah, in over, the south. I, I live uh, in Alabama, right on the edge of Georgia, right near Fort Benning. Uh, he might be your neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I forget where he is. Somewhere down south, though, for sure. Nice. Yeah, I'll check it out. I'll, I'll DM you. Yeah, if you want it, you know, super sketchy, but I took a chance. I was like, hey, it could be $70 down the hole, but where else am I going to get this? Like, the ones on eBay were um, a little more pricey, like 80 bucks, but they were from, like, five years ago, which I kind of feel like yeah. is... Yeah, you got to check the dates on them. They're, they're shelf-stable. At least the U.S. ones are for, like, 10 years. Um, but even if you get close to 10 years, I've eaten some old MREs over the years and they get watery. <laughs> so it, it's, it's best to catch them fresh if you can, if you're looking for something that's going to taste good. This is, he's got a box of 2022 and then he's going to go for the mountain. I told him, Hey, I'd buy a mountain from you, you know? Nice. Um, so whoever his supplier is, um, yeah, he might have mountains soon. So after Man, I, hit. I drop the video, I'll, I'll contact him again. Okay. Nice. That's crazy. I wonder if he's shipping them in from, from Russia. You'd think it'd be hard to get a hold of, because like for these AKs, I got a couple of the ones most recently. I wanted to get some Zenico parts, which is like the that sexy AK that I showed you on my game. You, like the mm -hmm. handguards and the buttstock and the uh, the rail dust cover are all made in Russia by Zenitco. Yeah, I heard pillbox. But since Ukraine kicked off, they don't ship them. They, they, they've shut down all out, out of the country orders. I was, I was like a week shot, short on getting my order in before they kicked off. So I've been sitting on having to wait to modify it how I want. Is Zenko Bulgarian or Czech? No, it's just Russian. Yeah, I hear the Bulgarian mods are the best. And I'm not yeah, joking because Pillbox is in the chat, but I do hear the Bulgarians the best mods. Yeah, Bulgarians AKs are, are solid. That's what. So my first AK I bought back in 2012. It's an Arsenal AK, which they back then they were importing Russian ones, but when the importation ban started, they found a good, solid company out of Bulgaria or that manufacturing. Uh, like machine shop out of Bulgaria, so they're doing. You're using Bulgarian AKs now, which Arsenal's like the top end. That AK I bought back then for 900 bucks sells for like four thousand dollars now, three or four thousand. Just because oh, wow. it's Russian, but um, but yeah, the Bulgarian ones are really solid too. It's probably the between Russian and Bul Bulgy, uh, those are the better better two places you can get them from. Can you still get like the Czech made? variants of the ak you can they're there? just all they're all super steep like the the most recent ones i got the ak 104 and 105 the short ones i bought from palmetto state armory which they're out of south uh, Car south carolina they have been doing ars for years and they branched into ak's a few years ago um and they're actually really solid I've, uh, out of the the two i have i haven't had any issues out of them i haven't put a ton of rounds through them but they they sell nowadays for like between six to nine hundred dollars depending on the stuff you're getting on them 600 like stripped down with no buttstock no furniture no nothing no pistol grip but you can get the furniture kits for like 80 bucks so it's a pretty good deal if you get that one 
That's well, not bad. Yeah. Well, all right. That was pretty fun. I'm gonna go get some eat. I haven't eaten. <laughs> yeah, I skipped lunch too, actually. Go take that a. Sounds like a good idea. Go take a walk. I'll probably skip breakfast tomorrow and then hit up that ration and try filming it. Nice. <laughs> oh boy. I got a I got a GoPro, so I'm gonna try the video on that. But I don't I don't have a straight up camera. I just do my videos on my cell phone. I never tried the GoPro yet, so we'll see how it works. Nice, cool. Well, it was a good time again, and I'll catch you. Well, just let me know. Try to give me a, a heads up if you're getting on. And I'll jump on. Uh, next I'm on Friday, but uh, oh, I'm pretty flexible with my work schedule. Doing retention, they don't have me too busy, so. I might so Friday, yeah, probably not live stream, but just play off stream or something, maybe. I don't know. Okay. I might live yeah. stream. We'll see. Sweet. Yeah, just let me know. All right. See you later, Matt. Thanks for playing. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, I had a blast. See you, man. Take care. All right, chat. I'm going to try to work on that MRE video next, and then... We're going to do Mosley's UK. I'll practice that over the weekend, maybe stream a little bit of that on Monday and uh, get back to Hoi 4. But man, Tarkov's a lot of fun. And it's a lot of fun getting shots down range on target. Um, so I hope you enjoy it. I know it's not my normal stuff. Um, but if you like the Hoi 4 content, there's plenty more of that coming. And please don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy this stuff. Uh, it did, I did have to pay for this get up and, um, your support is much welcomed. So thank you very much, guys. Uh, you guys have a good day, night, wherever you are in the world and, uh, see you on the next.